I'm back. I say this a lot whenever I go a long time without streaming, but I am in fact alive. Hello, VOD channel viewers. You know, you're my favorite. And thank you for your patience and for waiting for me. If I sound a little bit nasally, uh, that's because I'm on like, well, it's been the last day of my cold for a couple of days where I go on. Okay, today's the last day. No, now it's the last day. Well, hopefully today is the last day. I'll give it a couple seconds. Um, I don't know what I'm going to title this stream when it goes up, but we'll see. Um, Because I, I want to wait until, you know, chat gets in here to really start explaining things. But essentially, we're doing user submitted Skyrim quests. Cheese fan, you were in fact first. Welcome. How was everybody? Happy Sunday! Thank you, kind sir. I'm all month until my Twitch baby. Sly Panda, thank you very much. Um, I hope the baby is, you know, doing well. How oh, am my job? I'm doing well. I'm feeling much better than I was the last couple days. I was a little bit sick, but I've been making great progress on the Solstheim video. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really excited for it. Should be a good time. I hope. But we're back playing Skyrim today. So I'm excited. Um, I'll give it a minute or two, you, and then I'll sort of sir. get into explaining what Hello we're doing to today. Pugs, thank you very much for 10 months. How's everybody? Kanarin, did I say that right? How are you? Checking, is this your first stream? Welcome. Why is James still here? This is an outrage. Okay. All right, I, I, we've talked about this best, not best. We've talked about this a lot. Guys, Thank you, you gotta stop sir. hating on, on James, okay? He's here, he's here for a while. Young Mouthwash, that's a, an interesting hip hop moniker if you go by thank that, you, but uh, Young Mouthwash, thank you for Your stopping by. have inspired me to do an explosives only survival run of Fallout 4. Tons of fun. Yes, yes, Lieutenant Dan, we'd love to hear that. We'd love to hear that. Thank you. I hope it's going sir. well. It is really fun. Sup, Juve, I can have what I gave up for Lent on Sundays. Fire Lily, what did you give up for Lent? Did you give up my streams for Lent? Did you give up my content for Lent? <laughs> is, is that what happened? Um, thank you very much, Lily, for 11 months, almost at a year. Lieutenant Dan, thank you for seven months. And Fallout Mannequin, thank you very much for the Prime. You're all very kind. Sorry for being away for a while. Working on a couple things. I was hoping to stream... A couple of days ago, I was hoping to stream on Friday, but the nasality that I currently have going on was still hanging out, uh, still a little bit there, but we're getting close enough to the end, so I'm, I'm comfortable enough recording my own audio. Can you beat Skyrim without leaving the road? We already did Skyrim without leaving the road. You can't beat it, though. I'm, I'm, never, I'm never that interested in actually beating the game. It's been a while since I heard that. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerubar. Kings, thank you very much. You're thank very you kind. Time, sir. Very much appreciated. Thank you for five gifted tier one subs. You're going out for your birthday tonight. Should you get a burger or steak? Thank Go with the time, steak. Sir. I love a good burger. I do. I really I like a good burger. So but a long now smile. Yagor, congratulations on a year. Thank you so much for being here for the last 12 months. This is your first stream, but you've been watching on YouTube. We love that. We appreciate that. Um, back to I eat rice. Should you get a burger or steak for your birthday? I would go with the steak. Steak marks special occasion. Burgers are amazing. I love a burger, but I would go with the steak. Watching Juve while drinking dad's root beer. What's is dad's root beer a brand or are you just drinking your dad's root beer? Have you stolen it from the cabinet? Don't be stealing his root beer now. Okay, he could be a big mug fan or bark. Is it bark? Yeah, it's bark with a Q. I always thought it was bargs. Maxie Stoner, this is your first stream. How are you? Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for stopping by. So what are we doing today? Well, let me explain. Let me explain. Uh, so I put together a really, really high quality presentation regarding what we're doing today. And 
I made a community post over on the main YouTube channel and I just said, hey, I have a really stupid idea for a video. I want you to give me really dumb quests that we can try and c complete in game. Exclamation point quests, by the way. Uh, exclamation point quests in chat if you would like a link to the Google Slides document just in case that there's confusion or if we get, you know, two or three hours into the stream and somebody jumps in and they have no clue what's going on. Kindly remind them exclamation point quest and they can get all the context that they need. So I made a community post and I was expecting maybe a hundred people. I was expecting like a hundred comments. If that, I really was not expecting a lot. Um, instead, I just checked it. It was close to 1,200 responses. So if you did take time out of your day to leave a response you, on that Kevin, post, sir. thank you. Seriously, thank you very much. Ex wait, well, hold, hold on. Is it exclamation point quest or quests? Oh, it's quests. Oh, it's quests. My bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, I have to change that. Give me one second here. I shall fix it. I'm a professional and good at my job. Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait, no, it is. It's in the title of the stream. Exclamation point quest. All right. All right. We didn't fuck that up. We're good. Anyway, uh, I got a, a, there were a ton of responses to it. Some of them were just absolutely fantastic. And, and I said bonus points if you were able to include some background lore of the quest and why we want to go for the quest, that kind of stuff. And I picked six. Thank you, kind sir. If people enjoy this and we have a lot of fun while doing this, then I could jump back into that same post and find more ideas and, and more stuff that people submitted. I was able to read a lot of them and I had a great time reading them. I just couldn't pick them all. Some of them were also very Thank you, kind sir. Long. Like he's Sunday. There were there were a lot of suggestions that recommended beating the entire game in a certain way, which wasn't exactly what I'm looking for, because that would take a really, really long time. But the ones that I did pick, I think, sort of fall in line with what I was looking for. Um, anyway, I, I missed a couple of things. Uh, Celesteria, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you all for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, really looking forward to the Solstheim video, by the way. I think people are going to enjoy the retelling of Turkey Stick's journey. I am... I finished the first two characters that we used in Solstheim Permadeath, and I'm about to start Turkey Stick's journey soon. Um, been watching your VODs for a while, and I'm happy to see you. Thank you very much. Milfs and Cookies, I appreciate that. Pete the Dealer, thank you for the Tier 1. Hail Sithis, hi Juve in chat, love the vids. I've watched every single one up to the AI quest. There, I think there were a couple more after the AI quest, but I, I appreciate that. Sithis, thank you very much. Um, and Steve Whittle, thank you so much for the prime, or sorry, not, not a prime, but it is a tier one and I am grateful regardless for three months. Thank you for one quarter year. First time catching the stream as well. Told a lot of first time people. How are you? Thank you all for stopping in. Anyway, I picked out a few of the quests and we'll just go one by one. We'll see how they go. No idea how this is going to happen. And uh, let's just let's do it. OK, so the first quest was written. This is the original prompt that was left in the comments. So I have the original prompt on some of the slides, as well as I did a little bit of my own fleshing out of what the objectives will be in the quest. So the first one is interior decoration. I really enjoyed this idea. It was preposterous in all the right ways. And I think it was the highest upvoted idea that was in the thread. It was one of the earlier comments, too. So they had that advantage. Um, but the original prompt is uh, Skyrim is such a harsh place. People are very tough and they care not for beauty. But that's just so weird, isn't it? Why can't everything be at least slightly nice? How about collecting every single type of miscellaneous decor item, such as vases, baskets, chandeliers, that sort of thing. Bonus points for flowers. You need to fill these things somehow and put them in, I'd say, the ugliest location of them all. The abandoned shack, the one from the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Just liven things up a little. It's your journey to make Skyrim better. You're the new housing decor connoisseur of Skyrim. Good luck. So then I fleshed it out a little bit and just came up with a few objectives. I don't know if we'll try and collect every single decor item in the game because that will require cross-referencing and checking a lot of different things to make sure we have them all. But 
Essentially, what I want to do is collect a ton of decoration items. Vases, baskets, candles, flowers, whatever the hell we can find that's pretty, that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on nice things that will decorate a house, whether we steal them or buy them. Then we want to, of course, get ourselves placed into the abandoned shack and start the Dark Brotherhood quest line. And before we execute, you know, whoever we execute, we need to spruce up the place. I do have a bonus objective in here to attempt using the creation kit to fix the blood splatters that are on the ground, the lighting, that kind of stuff. I don't really have enough knowledge with the creation kit to probably do that live, but I might do that on my own time outside of the stream and just record it for the video itself to do like a final transformation. And I would like to keep a decent pace with going through all these quests that we have. So this is going to be the first quest. Remember, if anybody's lost, please help and direct them to exclamation point quests if they are curious. But this is the first one. Interior decoration. Also, we are... Thank you, we're not doing the cart ride. Skyrim, but you're Astrid's interior designer. No, Windex. That, that, yeah, that's the, there you go. That's the quest. Am, am I recording? Do I have this recording? We are recording. Very nice. Good. Unfortunately, we're skipping the car carriage ride today. Apologies. Windex Hero, thank you very much for the tier one. Sorry, if I missed any alerts, I'll try and catch up later in the stream uh, during the excla explanation thing I was going through. Lily, you'll get the cart ride next time. Okay, so I guess we'll start our character. We're going to use the same character for every single one of these quests. And if I'm going to go interior design... I need to think fancy. I need to think prim and proper. So I think high elf. I think high elf works. Where that uppity, not not to say that all interior designers are uppity. Sorry, mother. <laughs> Don't let my mom see that. Uh, but I think Altmer fits the bill for what we're trying to go here. Uh, go for here. FHD Husey, thank you very much for the prime. Uh, finish and name. No, 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 no. You know, I always pick the standard character. I don't know why, but a a dark elf with a shaved head seems so much more sinister. Or high elf. I've always thought, ooh. I kind of like this. He, I mean, he's pretty beefy, strong. Yeah, I want to be like the alpha dog interior designer. Kind of like a, you know, a little bit of himbo. grizzled a little bit all right that works <laughs> i like how i'm like oh i'm gonna customize the character this time and i go i make like two changes okay uh god okay what do we name them what do we name them um does anybody have like an hgtv host or oh you know what we could go ty pennington yes anybody ever remember extreme makeover house edition home edition Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Yeah, we're going with Ty Pennington, <laughs> the host of Extreme Makeover. You are not with the Falmer Embassy. Are you Tyler, the designer. I do like that one. No, that can't be right, Captain. Martha, St <laughs> Martha Stewart would have been good. Forget the list. He goes to the block. You guys remember that move, that bus? Yeah. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to put that in the video when we finish. <laughs> OK, that'll be a really funny bit is having the abandoned shack with a bus in front of it. Move that bus. And then the bus is going to move. But the shack will remain almost unchanged. Was I think it was after the regular extreme makeover. And when I say regular, I mean original because I don't really think there's much you know normal about that series that, that was that was a weird it's kind of a weird show it was like martha stewart his mommy isn't martha stewart really good friends with snoop dogg that's like a dynamic duo trading what's trading spaces give them their last rights as we commend your souls to Ethereus. Blessings of the eight divine. Shh, everyone shut up. Kind, sir. God, Joby. What's up, man? Just stopping by for a minute. Been watching the YouTube a lot more than the streams recently. Hammock, you just interrupted the commendation of our souls to Ethereus. I appreciate it, Hammock. How are you? It's been a long time. I, I, I did make sure that you were able to keep a founder's badge. I hope you've been doing well. 
Hammock is one of the original mods for my uh, channel slash streams and all that. Old friend of the channel. Never thought we'd be here, did we? <laughs> all right, I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. Next, the High Elf, the host of Extreme Makeover. There it is again. What the hell did Ty Pennington do to get executed? Although I haven't seen him on TV in a while. Maybe he did get caught with some kind of crime. Also, Twitch chat, please say hi to the VOD channel viewers. VOD channel viewers, if you do see this, please say hi to Twitch chat. I know I like to joke all the time about an imaginary rivalry between you two, but it's like a sibling rivalry. You should, at the end of the day, shake hands and love each other. Martha Stewart spent more time in jail than Snoop. Did Snoop Dogg ever go to jail? <laughs> Money laundering? Quick, I must get inside. I have a contract I need to fulfill. My client's gonna be really upset if I don't get there in time. We gotta move. Da da da. Why is my sensitivity so low? Okay, now it's too high. Ow! God, really? Okay, that's gonna need some work. Uh, this whole place is disgusting. It needs so much work. It's a travesty. Who's the city planner for Helgen? Something feels off. What do I. My sensitivity feels weird. I don't know what's going on. Like, now it's a little herky-jerky. But this feels a tad sluggish? Okay, uh... Would it... In, in... Yeah, the Imperials are probably more funded. So we'll go with Hadvar. Hadvar seems like he could really assist us in our journey to make things look pretty. Did I miss something? I'm not sure if I missed something. Keep Come here. Let me see if I can get those oh. Off. Advar? Thank you. There you go. We're actually going to play through the intro today. We're not going to skip it. But we have to be careful. I, I, I can't be taking too many things that aren't for the purpose of making things look pretty. Also, this is not a challenge, challenge run. Oh, novice? Okay, yeah, we're not playing on novice. We'll play on expert. I get that all. Thank you, kind sir. But I'm gonna need to find some nice clothes. If I'm gonna be some sort of real estate agent slash interior designer, I have to find presentable clothing so that I can look nice on the job. Valar, thank you very much for the prime and for two months. Everything looks pretty with me around? No, trust me, no it doesn't. I appreciate the kind words, but we gotta, let's be realistic here. <laughs> no, Hammock, you're good. You didn't interrupt anything. I was just playing. That's weird. Where'd Rayloff go? He came in right through this door. Unless you let him through, then locked the door to protect him. This is not the way of the interior designer. Why are we killing things? Hey, that was my kill. Fur gauntlets? Those are kind of nice. Oh, you know what? Oh my god. I, I, hold on. I'm already missing my objective. We need to go check this room and see if there's any... Okay, bucket, basket. We got some baskets. We need some storage. We're going to have to fill them with things. Ooh, wine. Wine will lift it. A wooden ladle. Okay, and a broom so that we can give it the appearance of somebody wanting to clean it bowl yeah we're gonna have to go we're gonna have to just collect a lot of these junk items that we find that may or may not be pretty oh oh can i not take this oh that's a bummer Ooh, let's get some books mixed unit tactics right i feel like that's important to have a nice house you need to have books that you don't plan on reading another bowl Okay, I'm glad I went back to go check. You're very dehydrated right now? 
Well, if internet osmosis, osmosis exists. There you go. I'll hydrate for you. Did my microphone pick up the glugging of my water bottle? Lantern, nice. Good way to look a little bit sophisticated. Apples. Definitely want some apples and vegetables because we can fill up our buckets with those when we get to the house. Cabbage. Very nice. Ooh, a kettle. That could be really good too. I think we're already making great progress. I've mentioned it before, but if I could, I would accept a job at Bethesda just to just be like the clutter guy. I would just fill places in their games with junk to try and make them look lived in. I probably wouldn't be very good at it, but this is me training for the day that that happens. Cast iron pot. Would you guys, hey, stop it. I'm trying to collect. No, that's not my best, okay? My best involves lining up paintings so they're not crooked on the wall. All right, sweet. Hadbar's just gonna take all the cool kills. And I will peruse for more wares. There's actually a lot in here we can probably use. Fork. Definitely gonna need some dining ware. Bread is always important. Thank you, kind sir. Just got back from leaving the stream from Juve. How wonderful Juve smile. W, you just got back from leave? Um, hold on, I'm trying to think. Does that mean you're deployed right now? Either way. I hope you're doing well, wherever you're at. Thank you very much for the tier one. 13 months, well over a year. What have you missed? You just joined. We are doing user submitted quests. We are on the first one, exclamation point quests. If you would like to access the PowerPoint that I have online, sort of so people can follow along and have the context needed. But we're an interior designer right now. Ooh, we need more cabbage. Cabbage is nice, especially Skyrim's magical non-expiring cabbage. Rock warbler eggs. Ever noticed those? Thank you, kind sir. Fun fact. Won't be able to stay long, but I'll def watch the vod for this one. Have fun. F f fun fact: there are four rock warbler eggs when it comes to Skyrim trivia. In the first tutorial room, after your first combat engagement, four Thank rock warbler eggs sir. reside in one of the baskets. With 10 billion subs on Twitch is a viable viewer submitted quest, right? Hit 10 <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Dozy Lion, thank you very much for the tier one. And Smoke Cat, no worries that you can't stay around. I appreciate you hanging out either way. And if you're watching the VOD channel, even better. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, you know, I should have let you die with honor. Instead, I just punched her shield. She really thought she was back into that fight. Okay, definitely gonna take the Skyrim book. That way, anybody who visits our abandoned shack will know that we're a Skyrim fan. Spell Tome. I think Spell Tome works as a pretty cool decorative, decorative book. Nothing. Nada. Nope. Coin purse. I guess I'll need the money. We're going to need funding for this project. You know what stinks, though, is we can't... We can't leave the shack until we kill the people that live there. Or not that live there, until we kill one of the people that's locked away or taken prisoner. Ragged robes, no, we don't need that. That's gonna put off any of our potential buyers. Anybody ever played the game House Flipper? I never have. I've never played that or Power Wash Simulator. They seem very relaxing games. But I've never, I've never tried them. But this is kind of like we're playing House Flipper.
What's Highborn? Regenerate Magicka faster for 60 seconds? That's kind of good. No, you can't dodge it. You're supposed to walk into it. Sorry, one sec, just enjoying playing Skyrim right now. Mmm! Just hit them with the paintbrush of death. I'm sorry, I need to work on my interior design puns. It's gonna be kind of difficult. Let's take some of the stuff that sells for a decent amount. I'm only carrying 80 pounds, so we should be okay for a while. Interior design puns are hard. Thanks for the content. Happy I can finally catch a stream. Kavana, 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 Kavana. No, I didn't say that right. Kavanava, 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 Kavanava. I think I said that right. But thank you very much. Thanks for stopping in. In the bear room, there's Blackbriar Mead. Duly noted. It's in the back of my mind. Yeah, we're gonna need more alcohol. Vary our alcohol selection so that by the time we get to the abandoned shack, we can set up our guests for a nice little party. I don't wanna take anything from the spiders though. Poison, yeah, poison is off-putting. I don't think our friends and family would like that when they come over for Thanksgiving. I think we should be okay on lanterns. I've grabbed a couple. Ooh, you know what? Bear pelt is fancy though. Claw, pelt. Can I take? I would love to take one of those trophies. But I can't. I don't want any human skulls. That's dangerous and spooky. It's not the vibe we're going for. Will there be roosters in the shack too? <laughs> if we can. I think that would be nice, but I don't know if we can. It wouldn't be a bad idea to collect one of the anniversary edition pets. Survival mode. No, Wait. not right now. I do have another video idea slash challenge slash series that I think I want to do involving survival mode. And I think I've come up with the rules for it. I'm really excited to try it. What do you guys think about Iron Man? I was thinking about the rules. It's, it'd be hard to come up with them off the top of my head again. But I think an Iron Man playthrough is super viable in Skyrim, and it sounds like a ton of fun. You're eating pizza rolls right now? Ja Wait, Jabba, what kind of pizza rolls? <clears throat> no random doors, Deoxys. Um, I mean, we could do random doors, but I think random doors would make it a little bit more difficult. It would be fun, but essentially it would be, I think it would have to be the open world because the rules would be, you know, no buying weapons, no looting weapons, no looting armor or buying armor. Um, no, so like everything would have to be crafted. If I want to upgrade any of my gear, it has to be crafted and the materials have to be found. So if I really want to upgrade my stuff, the grind would get a little intense. The warrior, the mage, or the thief? Well, I'm not going to be stealing things. I'm going to source all of my goods legally. I'm not breaking any laws. Warrior stone. If you're wondering what quest we're on, we're on the first one, exclamation point quest. 
We just got started. Warrior. You know what? I'll go with the warrior stone because interior designers are warriors against uh, bad design. <laughs> They're warriors against uh, ugly rooms. Pitching rod. Ooh, line and lure. Yeah, we're going to take this. Fishing rod, it's legal. Don't give me the stink eye. I should probably catch a couple of fish and try to like put them up somewhere like a trophy. That seems like something fancy we could do. It would really, it would really bring up the uh, warriors against bad feng shui. Is that how you say that? Feng shui, feng shui. <laughs> but yes, they are. Apologies again for my sniffly sounding uh, voice. Definitely need to collect some flowers. Thistle, thistle. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Picked a bad time to let the paint job on the inside of your cave fall apart. No, that's not good. I gotta work on it. <laughs> I'm really not very good at this right now. Ooh, you know what I do want though? I wanna chop some wood so we could set up some firewood outside the house. Maybe a little fire pit. Oh, can we collect rocks? How's our weight looking? 103 out of 300 pounds. I think I need to try and buff my carry weight so that we can bring more stuff to the shack. Although shit, if I go to the shack, I won't be able to go. I'm gonna have to go to the outside of the shack first and we can do all of that before starting the quest. The Dark Brotherhood quest, that is. I think the best idea is to watch several hours of Ty Pennington shows to get better into character. I'm gonna pass. If I was, uh, maybe if I was a reaction channel, we could just start watching Extreme Makeover Home Edition. If I was ever a reaction channel, though, we would be watching Lifetime movies. If anybody's ever had a family member that watches Lifetime movies, and you've been conscripted to watching it with them. It's a good time. They are really bad. Like the fact that some of them get greenlit. Well, I mean, they're all pretty much the same. As long as you fall into a specific box of like what your show is about, then Lifetime will make a movie about it. But if I ever did have some sort of reaction slash commentary channel, I think it would be solely focused, or at least the main series on that channel would be watching and sort of shrinking down and making consumable a 90 minute lifetime movie and just making fun of it. Is Twitch chat the judge of the interior design? Sure. Yeah, we can put you all in charge of it. Okay, stealing, stealing. No, I'm a good person. I don't really like the, th the thistle is what I have the most of. All right, we have 11 thistle. We have some flowers. Did I see you talking to Sven? I almost said it right at the... No! You didn't. You saw me talking to my producers on how we can best make this family story really relatable and tragic. That's Thank what we need. Sir. If we're gonna really be Ty Pennington in Extreme Makeover Home Edition, we need a sob story for the family that's in the shack. But the good news is they already have a sob story. They've been captured by a secret guild of assassins awaiting their own execution. So before that execution, they would like to you know, at least die in a nice place. Timmy, it's 3.30 a.m. in Australia. How are you? Uh, never, I never agreed to this. I didn't sign in for a second shift. <laughs> really? Okay. Dude, what? I, 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 I don't even know you. We've never met. That's so strange. Who just walks up to a strange? Huh. Hmm. If only, if only. Oh, gosh. Camilla. Hmm. Really? 
Come on, man. You're better than that. Pick yourself up, King. This is why over the years, I've started to understand Sven's position. Of just like, fuck this Feindel guy. He just walks around town talking to every single other person about Camilla. Unprompted. I'm in the middle of my work. I'm chopping some logs. I'm enjoying it. I'm doing hard labor. And he's up in my ear hole. Uh, Camilla. Mm, Camilla Valerius. Like, dude, ah, dude. <laughs> Get out of my ear. Bro, like, I don't know. I think, I think Feindel just needs to, you know, beat it. Have some clarity. You know, relax a little bit. Calm the fuck down. All right, and stop, stop throwing all your problems onto me. It's not cool, all right? Anyway, I've got a mission. Ooh, we need some wolf pelt. Raw rabbit leg. No, I don't think that really has any place. Ooh, it's got blood. Okay, no. It's scary. Gross. Yucky. The correct route is to have Sven marry Feindal. I agree. I ship Fane and Svendal. Fane and... Okay. Yeah. That... That... Yeah, that... I just accidentally came up with their uh, celebrity couple name, Fane and Svendal. I like Svendal. It kind of sounds like Kendall. Not interested in freeing any prisoners today. I wonder, I should probably go in here and buy some alcohol. We're going to need more beer. Let's make a quick run to the grocery store. I know I have to work on my drip. Don't worry, guys. Like, come on. I'm always thinking about my drip. Welcome. I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew Meadery. No, you're just Nazim in disguise. I know that voice anywhere. Take a look. Okay. Oh, I have a hundred gold. 62 for one thing of booze meat pie yes we're gonna need some meat pie we'll set that out for our guests venison chop could be nice this guy really wants to charge 1200 gold for a 20 pack come on really spending all my money on this crap you might be wondering why I'm not stealing things. That's because I don't want to harm my business. If word gets out that I've sourced all of my materials through thievery, my business is going to tank. I'm going to get so many negative comments on Facebook Marketplace. Can't have it. Okay, you little bastard, come here. There's another one over here. There's a monarch. Gotcha. I <laughs> sniped him. I'm a mass murderer of butterflies. The best interior designers have no drip. Their design skill is their drip. I would disagree. I think my mom uh, actually has... I think she's got some drip. She does. Honestly, I gotta respect it. You know? She got some drip. I don't really have drip. I don't. I wear muted colors 24-7. Gray, dark blue, black. Um, occasionally, I throw a vest on it, and I go with my Han Solo attire. It's about as fancy as I get. I don't really have drip. I keep it simple. Very simple. Although I guess my uh, Joffrey from Oblivion drip that I made on Teespring and bought for myself, I think that might be kind of drippy. <laughs> All right. I know at least you guys would probably enjoy it. But uh, so my mom does have some drip. She's got she's got some, you know, some skills there. But she's also fantastic at interior design and layouts and sprucing places up making them look nice it's like a serious skill she has it's like she's playing tetris oh my speech skills only 16 it's not very good especially for somebody in this line of profession 
must have more swords for the they say Helgen got hit by a dragon. All right, we got to get some clothes. I need to be better suited for this role. I think she might sell it. Hello, child of Fralia? Take a look. No, I mean, she does have a necklace for 1175 Can't afford that. Far too much for me. These prices are out of my range. We might just have to find a dungeon. See what we can collect in there. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Oh, Chaos. Best wishes for your surgery. I hope, I hope you're recovering well. Thank you very much. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Treasures, eh? Biography of Baron Zaya. We could, oh yes, we could have our guests feel educated and smart by having the entire collection of Baron Zaya at their disposal. Shit, I can't afford the third edition. <laughs> okay, uh, what, what do we sell? Probably that armor we collected. Nice. All right, that gets us back up into the green a little bit. Brawler's hide bracers. That would be kind of fun to just start punching things. <gasps> candlestick. Yes. Yes, we need a candlestick. That's a huge win. I think fire arrows make a pretty badass decoration. Although I just spent all my money. Goat horns. Glass. Nobody just sets the loose glass around their house, right? Might as well do Bleak Falls Barrow so you can keep the claw afterwards. Harvest. I think you're 100% right. I think you are not 100%, 1,000%. You're so right. We're going there right now. Yes, we need to get the... What was that necklace? I'd even... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Nordic amulet. It's unenchanted. Looks really cool. Nordic circlet. Nordic ring. Those all look really good. Is that from Beyond Skyrim Bruma? Cheese wheel? Fine. I can't afford the cheese. Can I sell? Damn it, I'm still two gold short. Uh, what am I going to trade in? I have two ladles. No, but I give those away for free. All right, we'll get wolf pelts later. I bet we'll find another one. But just to appease you, chat. That was just lying around? Good find. What was? Are you talking about the ladles that I dropped? Didn't do anything. Chat, relax, relax, relax. Take it easy. We got the cheese wheel. It's so strange to actually have fast travel. I, I've had it taken away from me in so many of these runs. Well, the glass could be... You know, we, we could make a joke and say like, oh, well, this household is uh, weed friendly. So we've got that glass on the table. Right? Like, you got some glass at your place? Oh, we yeah, we got glass. Although, I guess glass is more in reference to meth. I think. Yeah. Doesn't Jesse Pinkman say that all the time? Y'all, this shit's glass, Mr. White. That's art. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the most educated when it comes to drug talk. Skuma friendly household. We should find some skuma. Technically, we don't have to complete Bleak Falls Barrow all the way. Right? We could just do the portion up until we get the claw. Get the claw and leave. I think that's what we'll do. I can't be speaking dragon language around my guests. It's going to be off putting. Thank you, kind sir. 
senpai noticed you? Am I'm not senpai. Don't no no. I'm not. I'm not senpai. <laughs> I ain't no senpai. I'd love to get one of those birds. Dark City, and how are you? Also, Shane Koo, thank you very much for the tier one, three months. You picked a bad time to not have your shelves properly organized, friend. Nord Mead. IQ. When you're a good interior designer, as good as I am, sometimes it just works itself out and the work does itself. Also commonly held power among very high level interior designers is the ability to emit very hot flames from your fingertips. sack of flour. Yeah, we're gonna need that baking ingredients. I feel like baking is a very high class hobby. If you can get into baking and like be good at it, not be a total disaster. Usually you have to have a pretty nice kitchen. And if you have a nice kitchen, you probably in general really care about the appearance of your home. Steel ingot. Okay, we have some nice little treasures we can lay around. I don't know if I need any more bowls or ladles. Do I need more than one ladle? No! Oh, I was going for the first ever rabbit double kill in Skyrim history. That would have been a better achievement than anything I've done in this game. Although now that I think about it, I've never really achieved anything in this game. All right, all this time, and instead of doing a really insane in-game achievement that's never been done before, we're on our way to just decorate the inside of a house. <laughs> it's so dumb. But I'm passionate about it. I think that's what makes a lot of these challenges, challenges we do fun, is getting unreasonably passionate over something incredibly stupid. Stamina. Stamina equals patience. Patience equals good at interior design. At least I think. Dude, did you really just take speech as your first perk? You're goddamn right I did. I should be taking some of their armor to sell. Because I need to get some expensive jewelry. Who is shooting? Oh, hey, whoa. You're not supposed to be that good. Can't believe I took that shot. My silky smooth voice put your wife to sleep. You're, uh, well, I am happy to assist if she was having trouble falling asleep, uh, but Ibu, who says illusion is interior design, 1 million percent agree. Skeever tail, now that's gross. That's disgusting. Having some kind of war hammer, though, is a nice little flex inside the house. Are you gonna shoot?
Nice, amethyst. We might want to save things like amethyst or, you know, any kind of gems that we find. I think gems make for good design. Okay, what am I doing? Pray that I never become absolutely loaded and have like a mansion that I need to decorate the inside of because all I would do is just collect jugs, baskets, gems, throw them around and then call it a day. But I see, I worked really hard to put this place together. No, I would never do that. Honestly, having a, having a house that big, it's just too much work. That's so much work. So much space that you just have to manage. No. Give me a ranch style house, maybe a basement. There, that's, that's my dream home. One floor, limited space that I need to manage and take care of. I keep forgetting that this guy's kind of a high level. I wonder if we can still kill him with the trap in here. Nope. Okay. Didn't have to go there. One, two, two. Yeah, I've played Skyrim a few times. Been through this dungeon before. torch if you drop a torch does it stay lit okay what if we equip it what if we equip the torch then drop it stays lit we can probably mess with the lighting in the house okay this is good this is a huge huge discovery thief yes always some sort of historical memoir of criminals. Once again, to make our house guests feel more interesting and give up the appearance that they are in fact educated and smart. They do things like read books. Scrolls. Scrolls are going to be really good too, aesthetically, to have some scrolls lying around. Oh, Viking Havan, welcome. Yeah, there's been a lot of people today. I assume because I haven't streamed in a while. So there probably are going to be a lot more people on the stream saying, hey, it's my first time here than usual. Um. But welcome. Again, always really, really happy to see you and appreciative of anybody who watches the VOD channel. Thank you. Anyway, let's kill this giant. He's not taking a lot of day. Yo, easy. Hey. Now, don't make me use the door of safety. Come on. Can I just throw Fury on it and have it attack Arvel? Or what if I throw Fury on Arvel? Probably shouldn't waste my magic. Oh my god, wait, it did start attacking him! Hello, my bestie Juke. How are you doing, bestie? It's attacking him! Chloe, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for four months. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it is! It's attack- no, it's attacking us. Uh, kill it, kill it. I really can't tell. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, Please never leave us again what happened to the good boy. <laughs> Warler, I'm sorry about that. A little bit of a cold. Also, at the same time, uh, was selling the same, uh, celebrating the St. Paddy's holiday with some family. Which, uh, also led to me being hung over. Uh, the unfortunate thing about that is I don't get sick days on this job, uh, but I needed some time off. Also been really pressing ahead on getting the Solstheim video done. Really enjoying how it's coming along. I think you're all really going to get a kick out of it. Once again, like most of my challenge, 
challenge. Actually, that one is a challenge. I don't have to put it in quotes. But like most of my videos, overly cinematic, way overly serious, uh, pretending that it's like the most epic adventure like thing that's ever got on. Kind of the vibe I'm going for. No, we don't want poison. Poison is ucky. We don't want uckies in our house. Spider egg? No. Mm -mm. Too spooky. Too much edge. Get me down. Get me down. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Thank you, kind sir. Jobbo, hey, hi, juve, hi, chat. Ten months already, juve, dagoth, dance. Ride the lining. Thank you very much. Belted tunic. We finally found some clothes. I appreciate the support for so long, Ride the Lightning. Whenever I'm on Jabbo stream, I always see you in chat too. And I'm like, oh, hey, I know that name. Okay, now this isn't the best outfit that we could find, but it works for now. We fill it in nicely. It's not too bad. I would like to work on my appearance a bit as we get closer Thank to decorating you, this place. How about an embalming tool? Yeah. Diversify our tool set that's lying around the house. Linen wraps? Do you think linen wraps? I mean, they all weigh three pounds. That's nine pounds just of linen. They don't seem very high class as a decoration. I mean, I found it in a tomb. I would think that most decorations meant to make a tomb feel like a tomb probably aren't very high class. What are we doing right now? If you're interested, uh, click the link that pops up when you use the command exclamation point quest. We're on the first one in that PowerPoint list. They're not gonna have much on them, will they? No. That's my favorite execution animation in the game. Fun fact, it's quick, usually looks good. Sometimes the finishing animations look a little shitty, but that one usually always looks great. Restless? Thank you, kind sir. Happy five months. That was about the coolest thing I've almost ever done. And it worked. <laughs> Holy shit. What? God, I love this game. Whoo! Uh, Pikmin, thank you very much for five months. Don't take the word of power. Ty Pennington is in Dragonborn IRL. I agree. <laughs> I agree, Ty Pennington is not a Dragonborn. He, I, I could see him giving off High Elf vibes. Maybe it's because he's got spiky hair, or he used to. Why did I have to be playing on Expert? Uh, if we were playing on one difficulty lower, the trap would have killed that Draugr. That was so cool though. New strategy unlocked. You know what? I don't hate it. Let's take... Let's take the Ancient Nord... Bow. You, kind sir. I think the bow could work as some sort of ancient tomb relic. You know, something cool found underground. Oh, Automatron is tough. Automatron on a challenge character is super tough. Thank you, kind sir. Radish, thank you very much for the tier one. And Spaceman, thank you very much as well for seven months. 
Radish, thank you for five months. What? What's going? What is? This isn't like me. Sorry. Feel free to unsubscribe if I break a lockpick again on Apprentice. What a joke. So I think we do have to go through this entire dungeon. Because the Golden Claw... Yeah, we can't drop the Golden Claw yet. Fury doesn't work on Draugr, does it? Yeah, they resist. Fuck. How did I blow that so bad? Professional. I know how to play Skyrim. All right, let's get all these Draugr just into the next room. Because what, what interior designers are good at is lining up things, putting them in order. Making them look good and orderly and utilizing the space and what they have to get the most out of it. And through all of these mental gymnastics, I hope to eventually make a point. Let's collect some iron ore. Excuse me, I don't want to kill you yet. Ah. Fuck you. That was bogus. I was enjoying my time. I was having fun. What the hell? I was just enjoying my time playing Skyrim. How dare you set me back five minutes? I got places to be. I got things to do. I got places to decorate. What's funny is I looked at my health right before that happened. And I go, hmm. I have just over half health. Surely I won't die in one swing. That's my favorite one. It's cool in third person, but in first person, that execution always looks great and it's always satisfying. Okay, we'll take the Ancient Nord sword, use that as a decoration. Come on, jump, jump. There we go. First one doesn't count, didn't have enough health. I just realized how easy this whole fight is. I love using the traps against him. Necrophilia, what? No, it's not like there's a fine or anything for it. If you don't know the song, look up The Fine on YouTube. The Fine by Young Scrolls. You'll know what I'm talking about. Very good, very funny. Actual banger. Okay, we'll be quicker, quick, quick, quickler. Quicklier. I don't know what kind of interior designer, though, does the actual mining of minerals on their own. I'm going all out. Glowing mushrooms. Those could make for a great decoration. Scroll of fireball. Nice. We love that. Hide boots. They could improve my aesthetic a little bit, but I am wearing shoes. No. 
I'm not. I'm wearing foot wraps. Okay, give me the hide boots. Throw those bad boys on. They don't look that great. Still need to work on my drip. I was trying to coax that drugger into power attacking off the ledge and falling to their death. Four. Four gold. Found more gold somehow on a hollow skeleton. Okay, okay, all right, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, land normally. You can do this. I, I believe in you, Mr. Drugger. More glowing mushrooms, I love this. This this is going to give a sheen, a sleek look, and some new lighting, most likely. Actually, let's see if there is lighting. Do these mushrooms have lighting applied? Gluck, 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 glowing. Oh, damn it. They don't have much lighting. Perhaps if we combine it with a lit torch, drop the torch, drop the mushrooms next to them, maybe we can force it or, I don't know, break it in some way. Doesn't count. I'm better at lockpicking than you are. That guy's gonna kill me. Yeah, screw it. I think there's a lot of good decorations in this room. Could be wrong, though. Might be in the next room after we get past the swinging traps. Yeah, right in here. Resist cold. It's a good looking potion bottle. Ow. You guys all awake? Oh, so, how's everybody doing? Oh, everyone's, uh, I guess everybody's upset that I broke a lockpick. Whatever. Oh, there we go. I was wondering what took that guy so long. Okay, we're good. Just had to run out the clock on these idiots. Ooh, almost got killed by the trap. I would have deserved to die there. I've been playing it too cool. Mm -mm. Now I got that song stuck in my head. I'm prepared to pay. I know that death will never do us part. I look at RK and I spit in his face. Bear, butterfly, owl. It's probably another combination of one, two, two, or two, two, two. Two, two, two. I don't know why I always have to double check with the this one. This isn't a hard fight, is it? I mean, I think it kind of is, but it's not too bad, right? No.
Nope, not learning the word. Ty Pennington is not Dragonborn. Aw, oh, crap. I have to, don't I? All right, well, Ty Pennington is not going to absorb any dragon souls. All right? Ty Pennington could have learned a second language. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Pretty decent damage on this fella. No stumble? No way. I've never gotten this glitch before. Freeze. Don't make me, don't make me touch you. Ah, hey, I mean it, back off. I will, I will touch your face so hard right now. <laughs> Touched. Aw, oh, sorry for breaking it. Palm his head like a basketball. You know, my, my thought was like holding out my hand and just like holding it on his forehead to keep him at bay. Like he's an angry child in a comedy movie or something. The Dragonstone would make a great centerpiece, but it's a quest item. I can't drop it. You just got a, fi a free five day Duolingo subscription. Can you learn dragon language on it? Okay, now, okay, look at this setup. It's flowers surrounding a skull. So we could do something similar to that. Not going to take the skull. It's too edgy, but okay, a steel war axe has a very sleek look to it. And I enjoy that. We could go with the steel war axe and maybe surround it with the various flowers that we've collected. Maybe create a wreath. I think that could be fun. Okay, so I've used the Dragon Claw. Can I now... Can't drop it. If I return it to Lucan... It's technically him buying it, and then I'd have to steal it, which would go against my code of breaking the law and acquiring things illegally. Also, I don't think his store is open this late. Don't worry, don't argue, I got it. Uh, yes, an ornament. So, you found? I'm gonna put this nice back where it belongs. I'll, I'll but I don't never suppose forget. Consider putting Caught them at 4.30 in the morning. Unless you're here to sell that weapon of yours, why don't you put it away? All right, we'll take the money. Thank you so it's much. not stealing if I originally found it. Am I moving the goalposts? Sure. Do I care? Not really. Ooh, that was close. I didn't do anything, Lucan. I, uh, believe me, this was all ethical. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Truer words have never been spoken, Lucan. Only a real genius talks about how smart they are. Steal it, but drop the money? Oh, that's not a bad idea. All right, Did fine. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Did I see you talking to Sven? Fine, fine, fine. It still fits within my code. Lucan, I'll give you your 400 gold back. Fair. But I would stay away from him. Fair? We could have married Camilla, but I'm not worried about getting married right now. I'm worried about prettyifying. It's not a word, but I'm making it one. 
beautifying. Probably what I should have used. The abandoned shack. We should take a trip out to the shack. We should at least just see the outside of it. See what we can acknowledge on the outside of the shack. Maybe improve a few things. Hold on. These are good traders. They might have some good treasures. Take a look. Yellow, blue potion. If I have multiple yellow potions, then maybe I could sell one. Two scrolls, tons of food, tons of ingredients, good amount of books, lots of random items. I don't have a lot of gems. I'd like to get more. What does Rasad have? Horker tusk. That looks pretty good. Welkind stones. Yes. It was going to be great for decorating the place. Corundum eats have a nice little something to them. I don't know. Nice little aesthetic. May your road lead you to warm so let's take this bad boy over to Morthal so we can check out the outside of our hut. I can take you to any Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, stay Good thing I saved up my gold. <laughs> Uh, I should have checked if he had moon sugar or skooma. I gather that we'll probably see them again, though. Sorry, is, is my microphone picking up my water bottle like crazy? That's kind of cringe if it is. My videos are kind of perfect for Warhammer. For like in the background while you are playing Warhammer. Or I should play Warhammer. Antlers. Come here. No, give me your antlers. God, there's so many of them. Which one do I murder? I can't decide. It's so tough. Come on, come on, drop some antlers. Damn it. Where'd the other one go? Son of a... <clears throat> All right, at least we're close to the shack. Oh, cut out your squelching. Get over here and die. Let's get some more ore. I'm still doing decent on weight. We can carry 130 more pounds. vein is depleted. These natural resources have been stolen for your own decoration. There he is. Come here, asshole. No, 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 you can't get away in the water. I know it. Oh my God, look at that thing swim. He's going to run into like rocks or trees or something. Antlers, antlers, antlers. Come on, baby. The ant 
antlers are right there. Ty, just cut them off. Cut off the antlers, place them on the house, move that bus. Nice and easy, three-step process. Why can we not make this work? Unbelievable. Finally caught a stream, been binging the VODs recently. Thank you, Halorian, for watching the second channel where we love and appreciate our VOD channel viewers. Ever heard about the Linus hack? I have no clue what you're talking about. Does it have to do with interior design? Here we go. Wow. Look at this place. I mean, it could surely use some work. This is not great. The lighting is bad, the weather is poor. I mean, there's a giant murder stain on the front door. You didn't think to buff that out? But I mean, it's a sizable location. Much bigger on the outside, I think, than it is on the inside. It's got a chimney. It's got holes in the top. Apparently nothing on the inside. I didn't realize that the interior was kind of modeled from the outside. You know, if it looks like... Okay, they need to level out the ground in here just a little bit. The, the, you got the floating fireplace. Strange. So one of the main features of this home is... Obviously, the front door must be a portal into another dimension in which the inside of this house is a murder factory, but the outside door is covered in blood and cobwebs, which I think complicates the whole thing. Cannot wait when enemies are... Who the hell? Who? Is it slaughterfish? Is it really a couple fish? Really, guys? Forgot you were even in this game. Although your scales can make for decent decoration. They're shiny. Okay, so we can't go in yet. We can decorate the outside just a tad. Okay, this is ridiculous. Let's at least try to use this shovel to block some of these ugly cobwebs. Pretty gross if you ask me. Rotate. No, I can only do that in Fallout 4. Ooh, right. Yeah, <laughs> all right. There we go, we made some improvement. That is already a step up from where it was. Now, I only have one of them. And I should probably save my torches. But I feel like the Welkin stones could make for a more welcoming arrival. There, there are like no places where we can stack this. You know what I need is... First off, let's do our firewood. Right, firewood's got to be on the outside. Let's stack it here, roughly. Sure, yeah, that works. Now, they are triangles, so they should somewhat line up with each other. We're not going to be able to be perfect with it. This is going to be very difficult. Nice. Easy, easy, stop, I gotta put on, I gotta go on walking mode so we have to be a bit slower. Shit. There we go, there we go. No, stop rolling the other way! Wow, I can't wait for the last quest on this list, it's totally gonna be possible and not enraging. Okay, great, great, no more! Okay, that works. I'm going with that. Stupid fucking logs. One, two, three, four, five. That's only five. They do fit kind of nicely. It's not perfect. Shh. 
shoot. You gotta make sure these are still... Where did the other firewood go? Oh. It's really hard to see. It matches the color of the grass. Careful. Thank you, kind sir. Easy. Hey, Jube. Just came back from a tour of Earl New Vegas yesterday. Dot Good Springs was so cool. I put pics in your Discord Earl channel. Oh, I'll have to check that. NP, that's awesome. I would love to make it to Good Springs. It's like, it's on my sort of content bucket list. Is to go to Good Springs and beat New Vegas without leaving Good Springs. Come on. Come on. Oh, and in the World Championship of Firewood Stacking, Ty Pennington comes in clutch. That looks nice. It looks like an actual pile of wood. One more. One more log. It needs to... Oh, you fall. You fall. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Don't make fun of me, chat. Come on. Ah, uh, there's like a really satisfying angle, and if it lines up with it, stop flipping. Fuck. Fuck off. Oh, man, I'm making it worse. Just get over here. Just do your job. Flip around. Flip around. You're a triangle. Do triangle shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, there's still two more. Why the hell did I throw that one? We're going to leave the nightshade, but death bell is ugly. Nice and careful. Let's get the welkened stone in this little crevice. I want it to be standing up. Flip, flip, other. This is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Oh. Hold on, I'm doing this wrong. I'm, think I'm thinking about this all wrong. All wrong. We're going to go with a basket. Put the basket on there. And then in the basket, let's go. Ooh, this could be tough. Cave bear pelt might be tough. But let's go deer hide, elk hide. Thank you, kind sir. Need this to flatten out just a tad, go vertical. I think it's going to be too big. Yeah, it's too big for the basket. So if we want to fit anything in the basket... Mm, you know, a kettle could work better. Without fucking up all the wood logs we have. Kettle... Don't give me any attitude. Oh, you're frustrated. Uh, I'm I'm frustrating to deal with. Yeah, I'm frustrating. Well, that's the pot calling the kettle black. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Also, NP, thank you very much for the tier one and for eight months. I appreciate that. Tony Zen, thank you for the tier one for two months. Apologies for missing those.
Hold on, I got a better idea. Turns go. out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. We go Harker Tusk? No, N enough. Ah! This is way too hard. Oreo Ninja, thank you very much for two tier ones. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Wait, what just happened? I loaded my save. Why'd they explode? Why? Come on. Uh, what? Okay, you're all fucking fired. All of you. You're done. You're done. You're done. Mr. Shovel, thank you for being the only person out here to do their job. If you're wondering what's going on right now and what the objective is, exclamation point quests. We're doing the first quest on that list. Ooh, a nice little ore. I feel like ores are rare. Especially in a sentence that doesn't require them. Can we stand it up? No, 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 come on, come on, come on. Stand up. So hard to try and get it to like angle in the direction that you want. Like you gotta run against this rock. But then I move too fast. It's too big. This thing's a pain in the ass to line up. Hold on. Maybe if we go this way. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got the ore set up. We lined up the shovel. It looks a little bit better. And now we need to cover up some of those ugly. No, not with a soul gem. I want to cover up some of those ugly cobwebs. Maybe now we can use some firewood. This is going to be a tough placement. We got to be really surgical with this one. Need to go horizontally. And thread the needle between the ore and the shovel. Now, but see, the firewood wants to continually turn the whole time because it's a douche. You know what? That works. We could aim in this little corner here. And at least cover up some of this ugliness. Sure, we're covering it with alternate ugliness, but at least it's healthy ugliness. That's right. They said it was never possible. They said a gaming achievement this impressive could never be done. Stay right there. Don't move. Quick save. Now I'm going to quick load and make sure the firewood stays in place. You. Oh. I'm done. I'm done with the firewood. No, you're officially not invited. I don't care that... You knocked over my oh, you knocked over my ore. I'm so Be gone. Away with you. You don't even get to enjoy the interior of this place. I got to redo the whole ore. Now I can't find it. It's like impossible to see. It's so hard to see in the grass. Up. I 
I've never been more frustrated in my life playing this game. Oh, that was a good play. Was able to stick the head of the oar into the ground so I could flip it. Bam! All right, the oar is back in place. Doesn't look nearly as good as it did last time, but I don't care. We're sticking with it. We're leaving it like that. Now, we might not do the kettle anymore. I think what I'm going to do, we'll take a wolf pelt. Oh, wait. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, the wolf pelt can act as a welcome mat. Wolf pelt, we get this turned around. I want it going this way a bit. Almost, almost there. Center it. All right, there we go. Okay, now we have a nice little rug out in front of the house. And just to spruce it up a bit more, I forgot I had two. Okay, let's see if we can, can we knock this one? Get over there, get cozy, get comfy. Your cousin's moving in with you. Oh yeah. I mean, that's an upgrade. That's already an upgrade. Now, let's quick load and see if it stays in place. It all stayed. The ore didn't because the ore is a useless asshole. The ore is officially fired. The ore is no longer a member of this team. I don't care about them. I have no love for them. They're gone. Simple as that. Game over. Done. No more. I'm not dealing with it anymore. I need to improve my basket game. No, okay, careful. Okay, basket has to land on these two notches right here. Let's go into our flowers. Is gonna be tough but if i use the back of the house i think i can make it go vertical looks like there's no hitbox on the bottom of the flower okay tundra cotton's being an asshole Ooh, wait Maybe this basket doesn't work. I think I need the big round one. It seems to be the basket that works best. I lost some red mountain flowers, but we'll find more. Okay, wow. All that, and we added two rugs. And we, we moved around a shovel. It's not really the makeover that I was hoping for. Not the extreme makeover I was hoping for. Maybe we can fix this, though. I think doing the outside of the house is important. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's kind of annoying right now, but I think it matters. Maybe we could try the kettle again. Maybe we try the kettle in front of the box. Just go, just go vertically. Go normal. Line up. Stop trying to flip whenever I pick you up. I ask you kindly, Mr. Kettle. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kettle. Very kind of you. Thank you for playing along. Thank you for being a contributing member of this society. We appreciate you. Let's go with soul gems. Bing, bang, boom, bam. Bow. 
Soul Gems will make a nice, welcoming... Hey, don't worry. We're not going to capture your soul here or anything because all of our Soul Gems are outside. You can't really see them, though. They're just going in there. I'm going to need a lot more Soul Gems if I want to fill up that kettle. I'm going to need a ton. Common Soul Gem... I don't know, an ingot? We'll just throw some treasures in here. It should be the upgrade, though, that the front door needs. Damn, I gotta do a lot more. I gotta fill this thing. Okay, it's getting there. Lantern, that's not valuable. Random ingot. This just looks like money. Ooh, careful. Yeah. Wait, no, I don't like that angle. Oh, perfect. Test succeeded. Or task failed successfully. What's the meme? Oh, don't do that. Stay lit. Maybe it's because it's raining. We'll have to figure that out. Ooh, we've got a candlestick. Do have an amethyst we'll throw in there. I'm wasting all my pretty stuff on the dirty kettle outside? What? I mean, I'm wasting my valuable stuff, but, but think about it. First impressions. Think about how important they are. Where'd the candlestick- where'd the candlestick go? Don't do that. Do not run away from me like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't care if it's upside down. We gotta go around though. I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of the floor mat. I don't care if it's upside down. No, no! Oh! oh. Don't scare me like that. Stay right there. Stay put. Balance. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're starting to add things little by little. It's getting better. Now I want to get something in. <clears throat> we could go with a bucket. All right, that candlestick needs to chill the fuck out because it's reminding me of the firewood. Easy, Mr. Bucket. There you go. Candlestick, am I going to have to move you? Horker tusk seems like a decent bucket item. Stay put. Tankard, torch, wood bowl. This is all inside the house stuff. Toss a couple of these embalming tools in the bucket. I know they look violent, but no, these are just... Fuck. Stay right there. We just need to give the illusion that this house is organized and knows what it's doing. No, no, <laughs> I'm going to lose my brain. Come on, nice and easy. You in first, Mr. Horker Tusk. Embalming tool A. Get in there. And where is it? Oh, fuck you. Embalming tool B. Let me 
Okay. All right, step away. Admire what really didn't all change. Let's quick load. This is the moment of truth. Load our save and hope that nothing fucks itself. Oh man, why? Come on. Okay, um, well, you know, I, I think in terms of decorating the outside that this is pretty good. I don't think it's getting much better than that. So let's just get the bus parked out front for the first impression that we give these people, you know, when they come and they get to view their new house. <laughs> and let's, that's all right. That, that works. You know, I mean, there's a there's a trail of treasure leading up to their front door. That's more welcoming and inviting than it previously was. So I don't want to hear any complaints, OK? We need to get more. More. We need more nice things. Should we post this house on Zillow and see if we get any clicks? Does anybody know how to do that? Hey, Ellie. Oh, okay, come on. This lighting is killer. All right, as long as it's not illegal, chat, can somebody take a screenshot right? Oh, wait, my microphone and chat will still be in the way. But this screenshot, could I post this on Zillow and actually list the property? Or is that like against the law? Debella statue. Ooh, Debella statue. That's a great idea. Yeah. Before it looked like someone was stabbed there. Now it looks like someone struggled while getting stabbed there. Yeah. So you're saying they had a chance? Need a ride? Where do you want to, to me, that sounds like this place is all about opportunity. You, kind sir. That's what this house is all about. Equax, thank you very much for the prime. Thank you. All right, let's get the statue of Debella. Before I let you into for the privilege of any call it what you want. You don't pay, then you're not getting in. Nope, not even close. I am Ty Pennington, the number one interior designer in Skyrim. Get the fuck out of my way. I think you'd be a little smarter than that. Don't want in, huh? Fine. Have a good walk to the next city. On. Oh, I thought I got in trouble. Well, on the bright side, I got more wolf pelts so we can improve our floor mat out front for our new guests. No, I'm not going to steal a horse. Why would I steal a horse? I'm not a thief. Where's key? Are you going this way? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Worth a try. Please help nope. Me. I'm going to lose my job at the Red Fisher. Welcome to Riften, home, home of the Peace down. Dude. Dude, you want to get into Riften? Use the North Gate. Then just the start close. Vermin creeping around the rafter. My orders are to tell the Riff Raff to use the North Gate. No. You can use the north gate, or you can head to the next city. Iron sword, huh? What are you killing? Butterfly? I hate this city. I hate you all. You all suck. South gate is not open. 
I've been denied there before. They tell you the same thing as that side door. Okay, Blackbriar Matery. I can get into the city from here, right? Come on. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Currently in mourn. Welcome. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it did work. Whew. All right, screw those guards. Oh crap, we gotta hurry up. Brynjolf's locked on towards us like a homing missile. He's coming in hot. There he is. He's on the way. Nope. Not today. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you? I've never gone into Riften that She doesn't have her statue out until the quest? Really? You gotta do all the okay. Alright. No, no, no. That means I gotta go through the whole Thieves Guild intro. I'm not going through the whole Thieves Guild thing. Statue in Markarth? Heed my words. The yeah. return of the dragon your is not mere coincidence. This is one of the Okay, I got 73 gold. That's enough to take a horse to Markarth. Maven Blackbriar, there's one in her house? There's a statue in Riftwield Manor in Riften. Snowshod Manor. Riftwield Manor. Door is barred from the other side. You can't get in there. Or... I know what to do. Wait, that's illegal. Hey, you. Get over here. I want to talk to you. Shut up. I got more important things to do, okay? I have a house I'm looking to make pretty. What is it? Locked. Where's key? Okay. I know what we're going for. Let's have some patience with me for a sec, chat. Nobody said that Ty Pennington's never done a wall glitch in his whole career. Wait, where? I've never been up here. That's the balcony we gotta get to. I don't know if this is where I need to be. I don't think it is. Although it's possible. I need to get into this backyard here. Take my I don't really remember the no best way to get in there, though. Oh, that scared me. DB, thank you! I'm a god! How can you kill a god? Shame, Shame on you, sweet Erebor. DB, thank you very much. For five gifted subs. Can I go from here and... No. It's probably easier if I try to make that jump from the stairs. But it's hard, because when you're on the stairs, if you go down a stair... You're technically falling and you can't jump. All good. We know what to do, chat. <gasps> How dare you not work, Mr. Plate? All right, you're starting to get on my nerves. Come on. Be a team player or you're not going to be used as decoration in the house. No way. Okay, now I'm too stubborn, and I- Oh, I almost threw it under the door.
I mean, what? Oh, hey. Look, dead person. Goblet. Glazed candles. Whoa. A jug? This guy had incredible loot on him, given the run and the circumstances we're in right now. Oh, come on, you're starting to... I can do this. I can do this. I don't need help. I got this. You, no, 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 no. Why? How? How? Only I could do that shit. You bastards, you. Oh, there we go. We're in. Woo! <laughs> okay, all right, it worked. Give me my plate back. I thought I lost my plate for good. That would have stunk. Am I going the right way? Am I doing this correctly? I feel like I am. But I don't remember. Oh, wait, am I supposed to do it from out there? Yeah, yeah, it takes an arrow, right? Nice. Well, I don't have a bow. So, <laughs> so I might be screwed. Crap, now I gotta find a way out of here. God damn it, I gotta get a bow. Only I can find a glorious way to just fuck it up. 98 gold, that should be enough to get a shitty bow. Come to see Bal looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. 139? I really can't afford a bow? All right, cave bear pelt, sorry. You're getting sold. Iron ore, it's only worth one. I gotta sell my hides for now. I need the bow. Do you not have... God, I still don't have enough. You gotta be shitting me. Why do I not have enough gold? Fishing rod, that's good. These are all good. I don't want to get rid of them. Come on, dude. Do you have a bow in your house? I'm just going to try and take one from his house if he has it. What brings you to Balamut? No, the statue's not in the bunkhouse. I don't think it's there until you start the quest. And I didn't want to start and do all the, uh, all the lead up stuff to it. Okay, he's got to have gold in here. I know I said I wasn't going to steal and I wasn't going to break the law. And I'm still technically doing this all for good. Perfect. More than enough to get my bow. Have you met Balan? Nothing like this. Hey, some light theft is one thing, but murder is completely another. Pretty much. If you need any smithing work come see me again i have a well the sapphire i would like to use as decoration for our nice little house do i even need the plate can i just get up and right along this wall okay maybe not back to the wood plate don't stream until next Sunday uh, I don't think I'll take that long between this stream and my next one I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. 
been too long since we've had a good time. I mostly uh, don't really care all that much. Sorry, brother. Wood plate, I'll come back for you. All right, we're in. Now that we're in. Which part of it do I have to shoot? Noodles, I've missed you. Welcome back, good to see you. Did I just miss? Or is it not active because the quest is inactive? I don't think I can get in that way. Yeah, you have to have the quest in order to shoot it. I should have known that. Uh, there's another way to get in there. I haven't watched the video on that glitch in a really long time, but I want to get into the basement of that house because at the basement of Rift Wheel, there's some really good stuff. Oh my god, I found it. I think it's this. You have to ride the corner of the roof. Ride this fence. Now we're in here. Follow it around. We're in. Door is bu- No. No. What are you talking about? What? Don't tell me Anniversary Edition patched it. Todd? Mm, okay, you know what? I'm, I quit. Fuck, man. Don't cross me, Elf. Don't cross me. Shut up. You're all starting to get on my nerves. Not you, Chet. You're all my favorite. How the hell did I do that last time? I don't even know. There's one in the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude that respawns. Guess I'm going to Solitude. Ugh. Ugh. I can take you to... Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. This quest is getting on my nerves now. But I know we don't have enough to spruce up the inside of this uh, interior. Okay, East Empire Warehouse. There is one that respawns. I said I wasn't going to steal anything, and now I'm just, like, habitually breaking the law. Nothing for you in the warehouse. So why don't you take a walk? Don't tell anyone. You didn't see that? You did not see that. Okay. Okay, Shrine of Debella. Surely it's going to be easy to find in this place. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, no. You're trespassing here. We better clear out. You better not narc on me, Mr. Goat, okay? This is your last warning. Get away from there, or else. 
can't see me. Okay, now he can. Never mind. Don't say I didn't warn you. I order of it, then pay with your blood. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've just gone full criminal. Holy crap, this place has a lot of cheese. And gourds. Almost too much cheese. You'll never stop me! No, my mission for interior design is way too hard for you to comprehend. Ooh, a book? Nice, maybe I can talk my way out of this now. Or, you know, pass a rudimentary speech check at Riften. There's so much cheese up there that I can't grab. It's not stealing. Ooh, that card's gonna do really good damage. Okay, there's a ton of stuff in here. <gasps> drip! Finally, I have some drip. Okay, uh, chat, does anybody know where it is? Somebody mentioned there was one in here. Hey. You're not supposed you to have committed here. crimes against Skyrim and your people. I've committed crimes against honestly not that many people. I took some cheese. Okay, I'm all the way at the end. Hey, hey, hey now. Ow. Come on. Let's not be like that. Yee. That takes care. Oh shit. Okay, I guess I deserve that. By the Argonian in the wolf cages? So is it not there? Oh no, I guess I didn't find any wolf cages. Maybe we go about this a much sneakier way. You like that PowerPoint, Snam? Thank you. I worked really hard on it. You're trespassing here. You better clear out. Don't worry, I'm on my way out. I'm technically not breaking the law yet. Maybe we're okay. No, I think I just heard the guard unsheath. I can sleep in here? No. There's no wolves. There's a cave under the dock. Also, Snam, thank you very much for the prime. I hope you've been. Your last warning. Get away from there or else. Okay, wait, is the cave under the dock? Is that where the, the thing is? On a shelf. This area is access from the East Empire Warehouse. Pony, thank you very much for watching the channel. And thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't see the door here. Shit, that guard's coming over to warn me. He's pissed. <laughs> this looks like it has potential. No. Already been over there. Mr. Goat, I'm not sure what you're doing underwater. Will the goat drown? The goat won't drown, will it? <laughs> Big Daddy, I'm doing well, but I'd be doing a lot better if I could find this fucking cave. There's undiscovered area that way. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I know. I know Brainwater Grotto is in here. The issue is, how the hell do I get to it? I have the whole map in here charted, and I'm not seeing it. No, 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 fuck off. You didn't warn me. It's by where I got the cheese? No, no door in there. Shit, get away from me. Nothing there. God damn it. This is a disaster and a half. Follow the dock and stay to the left side. I feel like you guys are just explaining things that I did. You're trespassing here. You better clear out. Fuck off. Not you, Chad, the guard. Following the dock. Sticking to the left side of the dock. Left side of the dock. Left side of the dock. The left side of the dock has now turned into the right side of the dock. Oh no, <laughs> he's actually swimming after me now. You can't approach me in the water. I know your weakness. No, you didn't warn me of nothing. You can't attack me while in the water. I know that. You have committed crimes against Sky. Okay, we're not do so I didn't say anything. You didn't even give me a chance. It's on the dock, hidden behind the shelves. I feel like this is a pretty good spot for it to be hidden. Is it like a door entrance on the ground? Aha. Hidden behind the shelves. Hidden behind the shelves. I'm gonna find the entrance. I'll rip you in half. It's on the other side. Yeah. Not sure why you were saying on the left hand side, if it's not on the left hand side. Lefts and rights. This is the right hand side that I'm on right now. I'll tear you to pieces. On the dock. Behind the shelves. I'm gonna find it. Ah, Ow. Good thing that was just a basic dock worker. Nobody important. Go down these stairs, in the water briefly, around this little thing. Oh God. I feel like it's back here, but I am under attack. No. There is a big barrel, behind it are shelves. Big barrel. I see a big barrel right here. Ow. It's quest lock. Nice. All right. Well, that was a fun adventure. I cannot afford the trip to Markarth. Mm. Now this is taking way longer than I thought it would.
Can I take those fish? Oh, no, it's just salmon meat. I wanted the full salmon. Not the meat. Broken Tower Redoubt. Isn't that one close to Whiterun? Isn't Broken Tower right here? I could be wrong. How the Dockyard Adventure will be presented in a video? Probably skipped. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. We're... We're getting all crossed up and backwards here. Fuck the statue of Debella. I mean, is it really that cool? Is it that impressive? Is that is that really what we want in our, you know, for our interior design project? Is that what we want? Statue of Debella? Can I help you? This is way harder than I thought it would be. I'm just checking random things. I gotta make some money. I'm going back to Whiterun. I'm gonna find a low level cave. We're just gonna go in and kill some things. Because I need to make some cash back. I'm broke. That was a good shot. I had to let go of some aggression on that deer. Am I above robbing the Khajiit chest in solitude? Yes. Yeah. I am. I'm a I'm above those petty exploits. Even though I used console commands to kill a guard. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't though. That didn't happen. It was a figment of your imagination. You, you envisioned it. Not real. The unusual gems you can't drop. So we wouldn't be able to use them as decoration. I like the full loaf of bread. I think I'd rather use that as a decoration rather than, okay, all right, some nice little potions, another kettle. Kettles are always good. Look at all these bowls. We're gonna be able to feed so many people. Sure, I'll take another cast iron pot. Why not? What's my weight at? 155, we're doing all right. Ooh, sorry, hello, sir. Plenty of booze, good decoration, everybody loves booze. You'll be so much easier to roll when you're dead. Who is that? Who's making a bunch of noise? Come here. Thank you, kind sir. Ooh, a spell tome. I like spell tome as a decoration.
restoration. I am actually just gonna make a decent Skyrim play here instead of trying to role play as an interior designer. At least on that one. Professor Biddle, you've never seen a Mr. Handy with legs? He's an excellent companion. What do you mean? I just dodged two high-flying arrows that were aimed directly at me. I think that's pretty impressive. Also, you're dead. I don't know how that was an own on me. If anything, what I did was incredibly impressive. Sir! I... I just want to decorate. I just want to design the inside of a shack. Why must you make this difficult? Jesus. Really? A no hesitation, one shot, full health, automatic execution. Ugh. Bowls. Oh my gosh. Who's the Who are you? Cook and clean and do whatever it is they ask of me. I can't even keep track of all the people who have been in and out of this fort. They come, they go. I barely notice. Okay, I'll leave you alive. Sweet roll. Sweet rolls are great for decorating our place. Honestly, I haven't found enough sweet rolls. I still am in disbelief that I got killed there. She didn't, she's not going to sleep after watching someone get murdered. She's going to sleep after watching someone valiantly defend themselves in battle. Nope, wrong spell. Okay, I tried to kill him with the traps there. I wanted to be shifty. Clearly that didn't work. Sorry, chat, one sec. Let me just move that bus real quick that is this bandit outlaw out of my way. There you go. Remember this episode of Extreme Makeover Home Edition when Ty Pennington, <laughs> Ty Pennington brutally stabbed a bandit in the chest? Yeah, that was the backstory of the family. They were being raided constantly. They needed Ty Pennington, Pennington to ensure their safety. That's a really hard name to say quickly on the fly. Pennington, Pennington, Pennington. OK, 
Okay, very nice. Lots of good stuff in here that we can decorate the inside of this house with. And I have found my drip. And I found this drip ethically. I'm not stealing it from the warehouse. Now I look like a... Okay, get rid of those arrows. It's barbaric. Now I look like a... Get rid of the sword. It's covered in blood. Now I look like a very eloquent and well-established interior designer. And look, I read. I'm well-studied. Can't say that about any other interior designer. You picked a bad time to get... Ha! Found you! Ah! Die, damn you! Thank you, kind sir. Juve, the Lord of Drip and Master of Interior Decoration. Hey, I'm a man of many talents. Today, we're just focusing on two of my special talents that not a lot of people know about. And hey, you know what? I am an exterior designer as well, as we've learned from our adventures on the outside of the little shack we're going to be housing. Is that all? We clear? We done here? Oh my god, I got this glitch again. I wonder if it has anything to do with some of the animation mods I have installed that I use for recording. I've never seen it before, though. It usually happens when I'm lighting a spell and attack at the same time. Have you ever thought of doing more mod region locks like Midwood Isle or Falscar? Uh, probably not. I mean, you never know. But I, I haven't really thought of doing any of those. I don't claim. Take a look. Bruma is so well made though and feels so vanilla that it works really well. Um, but you know, a lot of the other mods are just, they're just not even close to being on the same level as uh, Bruma is. Okay, what can we sell off that we will not use to decorate? Probably none of that. Or armor. Okay, I'm up to 180 gold. Still not that great. Don't forget to check inside. Well, I'm gonna go window shopping at Bellathor's real quick, see if he has anything. That's all right, Witch. I haven't streamed that much the last couple of weeks. Let me know if you see anything you like. Bugs in jar. Where do you get the bugs in jar again? Every Take a look. Okay, he's got glass, goat horns. I kind of like the goat horns. I'll get two of those. We'll get a goblet. Nice little pot. Ooh, some straw. I think I just found what I'm gonna decorate the outside of the house with. Some straw, a troll skull. I mean, the skull is a little bit more edgy than what I'm going for, but it could be used tastefully. I don't think there's anything wrong with the troll skull inherently. A bit edgy, but you know, sometimes that's okay. It could be a nice contrast. Yes. Alchemist hut. Uh, could we go to what's her face? Right by the stones. Oh, also, uh, sketchhead. Uh, sorry, I missed that, but thank you very much for the tier two. That was incredibly kind of you. All right, we need to hurry up because I don't want to spend four hours doing this goddamn quest. I, I, I was aiming to get three of these quests done in one stream because there's six of them. But naturally, I feel like I knew that it was just going to play out <laughs> into me only getting one done. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. 
No need to trouble yourself with me. Ooh, a flute and a drum. We definitely want to have some instruments hanging around the house. Skull. We already have the skull. Ooh, Frost Miriam. Crap, I'm breaking the law again. Damn it, why does everything always have to come back to crime? One of these days, I'm going to do something clean. Vegetable soup. Don't worry, I draw the line in murder, Anise. Damn it. All right, fine. Now it's just self defense. I didn't want to do that to her. I really didn't. I forgot that she attacks you, though, as soon as you leave. Also, what is her secret? Her secret's what? That she owns an enchanting table and an alchemist bench? Everyone in this whole friggin' province does. I don't know why you think you're so special, Anise. Okay, so she didn't have any bugs in jar. Um, couple, lighthouse near Dawnstar? There's a bug in a jar? I guess we're going to Dawnstar. Oh, she's starting to coven. I was gonna say, yeah, there's probably a note in there. Or I, I definitely saw the note that was in there, I just didn't read it. So what? Need a ride? So she's a witch? That's not that much of a secret. Come on. Back and there are way worse secrets in this game. Oh, Ragnar the Red, who came riding to white run from old Rorik's dead. Mm. Sorry. I made my water bottle do the glug glug, didn't I? In the microphone. I hate when I do that. Okay, so the lighthouse near Dawnstar. Apparently there's a bug in a jar. Now it's all about just... Is that it? Up there? That kind of looks like a lighthouse. I don't know why I was looking for a standard lighthouse. It's Skyrim. The lighthouse probably wouldn't be a normal one. Her sister is the hag raven you try to marry in the sanguine quest? Really? When we did the, or when I did the AI quest video, there were a lot of people who commented about the quest in game that has you marry a hag raven. And it's such a missed opportunity that I didn't just try to directly go for that quest. Although with the randomizer, it's hard. All right, I am at the lighthouse. Can I go in? Or is it that tower up there? Wrong lighthouse, okay. Although I'm totally down to argue with you guys that that's the only actual lighthouse lighthouse. The lighthouse is between Dawnstar and Winterhold. Appreciate you narrowing it down. Thanks. <laughs> the lighthouse, yeah, it's somewhere between Riften and Solitude. Somewhere in that whole area. Just look around, it'll pop up. I think I know the one that you guys are talking about, though. It's not this one. Nightcaller Temple. I mean, that place sounds kind of cool. That's not the one I'm looking for. I know Frostflow. Frostflow is the one with all of the creepy crawlies in the basement, right? I've been there a ton.
Ah, there it is. Okay, it's on the map. It's marked. Finally. We're gonna find some nice decoration. No, that's a side door. Bug in a jar. Gonna decorate my house with that. Didn't rhyme. Fuck. Torch bug in a jar. Acquired. Gonna need a journal, though. We'll take that. That could be good. More alcohol. No. Ooh, what do we got in here? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Jewelry. More bread loaves. Fuck it, I'll take a carrot. Another troll skull. We don't need two troll skulls. We already have one. A merchant's hat. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Oh, I look great. I need to figure out these boots, though. There. Already an upgrade. I mean, it clips into my pants, but screw it. No, don't want that book. Got it. Anything else in here that's good? Not really, I already got a bunch of that stuff. I wish I could take that plate. All right, what's another pretty item we can get? There's a moth jar. Dusk glow crevice. Small Falmer cave. South of Dawnstar. Dwemer dynamo cores. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I think I'd re Oh, you know what? That, that's actually a better idea. I'd rather go into a Dwemer dungeon even though we're pretty under leveled for that. But if we go into a Dwemer dungeon, it's not a bad idea. What are the, hold on, let me pause this real quick. Let me save, give me two seconds here. I wanna go look at this document. Okay, the second quest, there's no chance we could do that while doing this one at the same time. Child in Need, the third one we definitely could do all at once. I was just checking. Or I, I, was, I was thinking maybe we could multitask the quest, but I'd rather just go one quest at a time. Are there any Dwemer dungeons out here by me? What's the earliest one you go to? I know there's a lot near Markarth. Markarth is probably the easiest one to go to right off the bat. Yeah. Should probably go to Markarth. Because we could just go right into town. Fancy Devella statue in Riften? Well, you know, at this point, I could have joined the Thieves Guild, gotten the first quest, and then gotten the statue. Climb and back and we'll be off. Yeah, let's go to Markarth because they have a shit ton of Dwemer stuff. We get a bunch of Dwemer stuff. Maybe we go back, join the Thieves Guild, get the Debella statue. I think that could work. What do you guys think? We'll probably have enough at that point to decorate the place, make it look nice. Free Debella statue in the Temple of Debella in Markarth. All right, we're gonna go there. Let's get the Debella statue. 
first let's watch this murder oh, wait ma'am thought i heard something I feel bad for her. Oh, this pendant would look lovely on my sister. Hair yanked back. Knife right into her back. Her final thoughts were she was buying a pendant for her sister. That's kind of heartbreaking. I mean, it's sad that she was murdered in cold blood. Either way, at 12.30 a.m., not sure why the marketplace is open at this hour. Making all that racket in the middle of the street at midnight. Maybe you deserved a knife in the back. Okay, the Bella statue. The sisters are communing with the Bella. They can't be disturbed. Don't care, Senna. You'll have to come back another time. I need a hot statue real quick for my house. Oh damn, I have to break in there, don't I? Expert? That's alright. I can crack an expert lock. Nightcore, my day has been good. It feels good to be streaming right now and hanging out with you guys. As frustrated as I've let really stupid things <laughs> make me. Bella statue. I can't believe we've been able to do this whole thing without committing a single crime. What are you doing in here? Stay where you are. The mother will deal with you. If that's how you choose to end your life, so be it. I didn't say anything. Is someone there? What was that? Okay, you can't hit me with the full echo. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, 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 okay. This is all right, this is all right. This is all right. Ma'am, I am an established interior designer and I have come on a surprise visit. You're actually on a reality TV show and we are here to pimp out your temple. Now, I know you're not really ready for the show. Okay, this is going to be tough. Debella, guide us. No, I'm not interested in your quest. Nope, not interested. That's right, back to where you came from, wench. Lead us to your Sybil. Okay, no statue back here. One single gold. No. No, stop it. Stop detecting me. Go back to your prayer. Why has my sneak steel not gone up? Do 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 do. Hidden. Da -na 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 -na. Nice and easy. Slow and steady wins the race. No, didn't see me. Shh, quiet chat. Don't make a sound. From this point forward, we are silent. Not quiet, silent. Lead us to your Sybil. That was a Last of Us reference. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> All right. After this, the perfect escape, and then the Dwemer dungeon. Perfect. It's all according to plan. <laughs> this is what Ty Pennington does during filming sessions of Extreme Makeover Home Edition. <laughs> He's out robbing from religious communities to put stuff in people's houses. We were really inspired by your love of the fake goddess Tabella. So we went out <laughs> to a temple and stole a statue directly from them. Meh. No. 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 I can break this encounter. I can break this encounter. I can get away from her. I just can't have her close the gap. I need her to turn and start coming around the table this way. Fuck, fuck, fuck. She's getting close. 
She's getting close. She's going around the table. Now we can make a move around this way. Her pathing is going to be all awkward. Boom. She goes into the corner. Oh, no. She was just sitting down. F oh, finally, my sneak skill goes up. I've only committed grand espionage. We'll give you one sneak point. Congratulations. You got this, Ty. Come on. You want to move that bus with enthusiasm? Shit, she's close. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Speed up. Back behind the wall. You can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm silent. Go, go, go. Make a break for it. Break the line of sight, back to being hidden, can't see me. Their AI will revert, and they will go back to sitting in their dumb, stupid little chair. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm free! All right. Oh no, they locked me in! You bastards! They saw it coming! Oh, this is bad, this is bad. It's all right, I got ten lockpicks, I can do this. Aut Automatic. Automatic. Oop. Okay, really? You're going to get on my case about half a millimeter? Thank you. Thank you. Anyway. Back to Ty Pennington stealth mission to steal from religious zealots. Yeah. I got away with it. Scott free. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Mission complete. Well, that mission complete. We got our statue of Dabella. That's going to go. Mwah. Oh, it's going to be so nice in our little house. So, yes, these people will be getting executed, but they're going to be getting executed with a golden frickin' statue. I guess they won't be able to see it because they'll be, you know, blindfolded and the whole thing. But that's OK. Right? If I was going to get executed, I would want a cool statue in the same room. I'm not I would love it. It's closed for a reason. You here to see the yard. You're suddenly to I'm, I'm not going the right way, am I? Yeah, I don't think I'm going the right way. I think the old dude's little thing is back out here. You're right. I think maybe we could. Well, I'd probably have to get my pickpocket skill really high. Which I don't really plan on doing right now. Uh, Calselmo, you got a quest for me? All right, Nishwan Zell. What's my weight look like? Okay, we can have 130 pounds. I know Dwimer stuff gets a little bit heavy. Prop them up on chairs so you have permanent guests. That's a great idea. After we get through this dungeon, though. Ooh, okay, now it's all legal. Which of the Dwemer stuff looks good? I like the solid Dwemer metal. It's super heavy. A gyro. Those look cool. Crap, this stuff is really heavy. Give me a cog. We need to get a dynamo core. I think in order to get that, we got to kill the big guy, don't we? So we probably have to clear out this dungeon. I don't think it'll be too difficult. Right? Dwemer urn? Whoa! Holy W. Okay, that's huge. Why do I feel like those rocks are going to fall down and attack me? Ow. Uh. 
Holy crap. Great. I wasn't ready for that spider to do that much damage. That seems imbalanced. Great. Nice swing, dude. Nice one, Ty. There we go. I'll bring a potato. Nothing wrong with having some potatoes. Okay, relax. Jesus. Why is it always the miscellaneous junk that tries to kill me? All right, Nimmy. Ow. I need to stop saying that. Okay, maybe if maybe if Nimmy walks into all the loose rib cages and skulls, Nimmy will. Oh my God, Jesus! Death by loose spine. I think we can cheese Nimmy from this spot here. Okay, or not. Maybe not. I was a little ambitious there. Don't worry, this is a good strategy. Good strategy here for sure. the magic back still have 30 more seconds with this badass power on oh nimmy you you just aren't smart enough for this game, okay? You know, eventually the bots in this game will understand that I'm better than them. I've always been better than them. They don't stand a chance against me in single combat. And yes, most importantly, they suck at interior design. Tell Kelselmo that Nimi is dead. I don't really care about Kelselmo. I care about getting a gyro or a Dwemer, whatever they are, the gyro core. Whatever the rotating red thingy is that looks very appealing. Oh, show sure, that's right. It's a bunch of Falmer in here. I knew that. I definitely knew that. I, I can't stand a fight against them. So I just have to hope that they're very kind to me as I move through. Give me the Dwarmer bowl. Yeah, the Dwarmer stuff is gonna be really good for us. I've cleared out this dungeon a bunch of times. I don't think this should be too difficult. Well, no, it's gonna be difficult, but I don't think it should be too difficult. Okay, almost got me. 
There's a trap room coming up. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> that fit in perfectly after I broke my thing. Uh, Chenergy, thank you very much for the prime. Yeah, all these all these guys attack, and so will that big dog. If I just attack the big guy, will they all attack me at once? I think if I open up this chest, they all attack. Really? Okay, okay, all right. Oh, that was a bad time to save my game. I was not ready. I don't know if we're gonna get be able to get the Centurion core. Oh, totally outsmarted them. Damn, okay, so not an actual thing. I think I have to kill all the robots that are in here. You know what? You know what? Actually, I think I've changed my mind, guys. You know, I, I think this has been a fun adventure. I've been really enjoying it. I'm gonna go home. I think I've gotten enough Dwemer stuff to decorate a bit. <laughs> also, I'm over this quest. Let's just see what we can do with what we've collected so far throughout this ad really stupid adventure. And then if it looks like shit, I'll go into the creation <laughs> kit offline and spruce it up and do an actual home makeover. <laughs> Poisoned? God fucking damn it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Arcing Thams? Where is that? <laughs> nice shot, nerd. Southwest of Markarth. Can't have a legit. God damn it. Stop following me. Leave me alone. I have a serious mission to attend to. Back off. Can't have a legit love nest without that red swirling sensual dynamo core. You make a very strong case. You you make an exceedingly compelling point. All right, where is it? Southeast, near the Orc stronghold, southeast of Markarth. All right, fine. We'll go get a Dynamo Core. New quest objective: Dynamo Core. All right, Kelselmo, you got anything for me, though? The artifacts you have, my, as promised, is the key to the Dwemer Museum. Find the displays. Quite right. 
Is there anything in the Dwemer Museum I could use? Yeah, I was gonna say. Dwemer Museum has to have a lot of stuff. Oh, man. Oh, he has silverware? Not breaking the law. I did a service to be able to do this. No, no, open. Spoon, spoon, knife. You need a cup. Come on, he's got to have that. Got to have the golden ticket somewhere in here. No, I'm, I'm actually, I, I think I'm doing pretty well here. Damn stall cloak rebels. Outsiders aren't trusted in Markov. Just keep that in mind. <gasps> That's right, Stendar's hammer. It weighs a hundred pounds. But it would be such a good decoration. That looks like a buster sword. I forgot about that hammer in here. No dynamo court in the museum? Really? Not a single one? The yeah, the, the hammer in the corner, it's Anniversary Creation Club. All right, all right. We'll try to find Arking Sand. Hopefully we can find it. Southeast. Means it's in this area, right? It's in this area. Let me just, let me just not cheat real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Arking Thams. Sure, yeah, it's over here. Don't worry, I'm not going to fast travel there. Not fast traveling. Yeah, it's a uh, it's Golden Hills Plantation. It's obscenely overpowered because you can plant. You can plant a field of, um, you know, a ton of one ingredient that you want to make a, a bunch of, and then you can plant another field of like 10 or 12. Of whatever, uh, whatever other uh alchemy ingredient you want and you can just make a shit ton of potions it's really good for that hey watch it yeah it's not illegal i'm clumsy but i didn't break the law and thus ty pennington went to go seek the last decorative item that would transform the interior of the abandoned shack he sought closure to his adventure in order to bring the family of three grace, acceptance, and love in their new home. A feeling of all those things. Not that Ty Pennington is the one single-handedly delivering all that stuff to him, but... When's the nipple reveal getting released? Um, I will nipple reveal if my YouTube channel ever hits 1 million subscribers. You can actually quote me on that, clip it, sure. Y'all get me, y'all get me to 1 million YouTube subscribers, I'll fill the entire camera with one single nipple. Like the whole, your whole entire screen will just be a honking milker. But until that point, it ain't happening. Ah! 
also it, that might be that's i think that might be a tls violation for more than one halt outlander we won't kill you outlander but we don't want you here. literally just passing by Like, ooh, nice wooden fort. Whoa. Like, you, you guys realize that half the people in this entire world know how to shoot flames out of their hands? They're like, hmm, yes. How shall we defend ourselves? Well, why don't we just chop down a bunch of trees and surround ourselves with that shit? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time. Talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. <laughs> Did he just. He's screaming at me. You don't need to talk to me. He, you see someone run past just now. You saw him run past. He's right there. Great. Thanks. Bastard stole from me. I'll catch him though. What was that? That guy's screaming at me and he's just like, hey, huh, don't tell anybody. Don't snitch. I'll kill you to immediately. Death is highly overrated. Running away. Bunch of idiots. Bunch of knuckleheads. Okay, arcing thams. Hard to pronounce. Weird spelling. Hopefully it has the dynamo core. Turn back. What the fuck was the? What? Did I just get genuinely jump scared by Skyrim? Hello? Turn back. Before it's too late. Turn back. No, I can't. We have a show to film, okay? This is a needy family of three living in a shack, and we're going to remodel their home, okay? Plus, this is great television right now. All right, I don't remember this episode. I don't remember this ever happening on the show. I probably would have watched more episodes of Extreme Makeover Home Edition if Ty Pennington himself did have to delve into scary, dangerous dungeons. <gasps> Is this her? Dwarven arrows, gold, hide racers, journal, healing, silver ring, no dynamo core. I thought... Hey. Katria, I am not interested. Where is it? Chat, if I was lied to again. Is it in here? No, it's a stupid amulet. The walkway? Okay, okay, I'm going to the walkway. Oh my god! We have found it! Ty Pennington, your mission is complete. Oh, thank God. Finally, get me out of here. Get me back. Just. I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry. You know what? I, I, I can't save your soul or complete your mission or whatever you want me to do, Mrs. Ghost. OK, I have far more important things to do.
Now, in order to actually get kidnapped and go to the assassin's house or the abandoned shack to get inside of it, don't I have to kill Grella the kind and then sleep? That's how it activates, right? I had enough done in with it. Skill. All right, I cheated. I don't know you. You can pretend not to hear me. I cheated to reveal the location of that cave. Get out of my way, please. Can you guys just stop? Go. Um, I cheated to find that dungeon, so I'm removing all the map markers off my map. If I want to fast travel again, I got to use the, what's it called, the carriage, and ride to a city. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Gorilla. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk. <laughs> it's Gorilla. Oh, someone has killed Gorilla. <laughs> I cannot fast Grilla you. Is dead. That was also my favorite episode of Extreme Makeover Home Edition when Ty Pennington goes to an orphanage and assaults a grandmother. It was wild. I couldn't believe they put it on TV. He's like, now, before we move that bus and change all of your lives right now and give you an obscenely high mortgage payment and, <laughs> and, 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 and skyrocket your property taxes, we've brought an old lady here to get the show started. I'm going to pummel her face in repeatedly, and it will make you all appreciate the new house that we've given you. Thanks, Ty. As he's, as he's smashing her face in. We appreciate it, Ty. Thanks for building our house. <laughs> you can you can kill our grandma now. <laughs> it was an insane episode. Do I think Turkey Stick is now an Ethereus? I think Turkey Stick uh, built his own Ethereus. He's just hanging out. Now, obviously, he can't leave. He's stuck there. Turkey Stick's one of the nine divines, or eight, or ten. You know what? Now there's ten. Yeah, he's one of the ten divines, or nine. However you want to look at it. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help us. But we haven't taken a side. That's not our fight. Hey, Speaking of people who are in Ethereus. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament. Why are you talking about this right outside of his window? Wait, okay, this is it. This is perfect. All right, this is how it happens. This is how Extreme Makeover Home Edition always goes. You know, someone in the family has kind of a sob story or something that they want to do. And then, you know, they'll be performing some kind of family ritual or seance or summoning an assassin's guild or something like that. And then all of a sudden, Ty pokes his head around the corner. Hey, 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 heard your house was kind of shit. Wow, you thought our house was so terrible you wanted to put it on TV? I'm kind of a good person. Assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. It took so long. So the head myth. So I what a wild ass concept for a show. And perform the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you can kill all of the kind. <laughs> uh, uh, as it turns out, I uh, I love beating the shit out of uh, grandmothers. So here we are. You did? Really? This is the best news I've ever gotten. I mean, I knew the Dark Brotherhood was good, just not that good. You killed the old hag before I even asked. Oh, your parents never hosted a family seance? Really? Oh, man. <laughs> it's like, do you imagine if you ran into somebody who was like, 
Maybe it was culture shock for them to find out that most people don't actually perform ritualistic seances with their family. Like they'd be hanging out with people, you know, as soon as they like maybe leave their hometown or or whatever, move out to a big city or go to a public university. So yeah, uh, what day of the week do you guys normally seance? Uh, sorry, yeah, you know, raise the dead, summon Cthulhu, communicate with the uh, with the undead and those beyond. Uh, we're just going to pick up bush light, <laughs> man. I don't, I don't know what your deal is. Okay, so we completed the mission. What's my quest? Oh, I don't have a quest. Okay, so now we can just go to sleep. Beautiful. I don't really have any places I can sleep. Come on. Just you said I had a hangover? What's the drink of choice? Uh, unfortunately, I like Bacardi and Diet if I am drinking, or uh, vodka soda with a lime. Both with a lime. So Cuba Libre, I believe some would call that. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? This here's Sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Enjoy your stay. I love how open to gossiping these people are. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves? Never met this person. And all of a sudden, they're just firing off one. How can Elda say that she hates this entire race of people? Like, if I met somebody and the first thing they started doing is firing off about how their coworker is, like, racist or something, I'd be like, whoa! But hey, I mean, good to know. I'll keep an eye out for them. But I wasn't really ready to dive into that topic yet. I don't know if we were on that level. Got some fresh. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Also, Elda doesn't seem to mind me. So do I just have to sleep again? I didn't say 12 stouts into whiskey. Oh, I have to get the letter first. That's right. We have to get the letter, the we know letter. <laughs> Caliber Coffee, we're about to finish up the interior design quest, or at least just see how it goes. All right, so the courier's probably going to show up. Ty Pennington awaits a message, a letter. I probably should just go to White Run. Although I can't fast travel there, I gotta take a carriage. I deleted all my fast travel points. It was punishment for cheating. <laughs> I didn't cheat though. That's just between you and me and the VOD channel. You didn't chase your liquor? I can take you to any of the whole Where do you want to go? That's pretty wild. I mean I'm I just can't hang. Climb and back and we'll I am on. when it when it comes to like alcohol. Never been to White Run before? Um the Jarl's Palace is something I just I, I, I literally I can't hang. Big old dragon skull hanging on the wall. Like if there's a big event or something and it's supposed to be an all day thing, I have to really pace myself to an annoying degree can i get a water can i get another water can i get a water with my next water you know what? just give me six waters and if i don't have like significant amounts of time where i take a break i'll i'll fall apart have i ever smoked pot before <laughs> no, dude, what are you talking? <laughs> no, I literally would never. That would be an egregious failure of my responsibility as somebody who plays video games for a living. Okay. All right. 
I have a really important job out here, okay? And I need to be the utmost honor. And oh, really, dude? Guys, no. No. Not happening. No. 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 Okay? Also, my favorite episode from Extreme Makeover Home Edition is when Ty Pennington was jumped by multiple thugs who sought repayment for items that he had stolen, and instead he had to defend himself. Never come here. The worst power attack in this damn game is the side attack. There's, it looks cool, but there's no advantage to it. Not quite good enough? I'm soloing you three. In fancy clothes. That's the last of them. Okay. When I say that Skyrim... When I say that Skyrim has egregiously bullshit deaths that make a, you know, permadeath or legendary or just some like really hard challenge fucking annoying, that's what I'm talking about. That's no, 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 uh, -uh. cut it out. Sick of it. I don't have a button to resize myself properly. Does this look right? Am I too big? I think that looks good. <sighs> when did I last save? Oh, but yeah, have I smoked pot? Yeah. Come on, where's the courier? Why is he taking so long? Yeah, that was the first thing I ever asked Mickey when we first chatted. He's like, you ever smoke weed? I mean, it's just like, it's, in the air. Cool. it's not like it's that cool, Never is. but it's not like it's that awful. So it literally makes candy taste better and it makes your jokes sound funnier. What is happening? Are you? Are, no, you're <laughs> Sigurd. Got something to say? Yeah. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. Yeah, I do. In fact. All right. Ah, oh, but yeah, I don't do it too too much. And certainly not on stream. I would never do that live. Hell no. Too much anxiety. It gives me enough anxiety when, like, I'll do it, and then I, I'll, like, open YouTube Studio and be like, oh, this person said this about me, and they said this about me, and I get, like, way too into it, and I start freaking out. Be like, uh... You know, just dumb shit. Because, like, the nature of YouTube is, is just, like, you know, sometimes you'll have a video that does really, really well. It goes outside of your main intended audience and somebody will be like this was the stupidest fucking challenge i have literally ever heard of course you can play skyrim without leaving this place why would you even wish and, I, and i'm reading that shit i'm like oh my god am i actually worthless <laughs> what's wrong with me and then i'll you know an hour and a half goes by and i'll be like oh i don't know why i was i don't know why that freaked me out that's just the nature of the job excellent shot Impeccable shot. Look at the confusion of the hired thugs as they await the stealth archer, the well-known stealth archer, Ty Pennington. Oh. 
But yeah, apologies if uh, that fact about me really disappoints someone out there. I really don't care though if it does. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If you one shot. That's the last of them. So, like, man. Okay, the courier's not showing up. I'm getting jumped by thugs. Maybe the courier's not showing up because I have to clear the thugs encounter? No, no, we're almost done for the- we're almost done with this quest. We're here to teach you a lesson. I fear you won't leave here alive. I never understood why the guards refused to do their job. Like they're cheering on this fight. Like, yeah, all right, finally some entertainment. My cousin's out fighting dragons and I'm stuck here on guard duty. All right, I was cooking these guys the first time. I can do this. I don't know why I'm so afraid of them now. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You won't leave Skyrim alive. Sorry, got to kill this gang of thugs before I air my show on network television. There we go. That's the one we want to get. Narrow down their numbers. Done. He's dead. One down. Get him, kill him. Yeah, all right, that was awesome. Thanks, guards. Appreciate it. Now, please allow the courier to arrive in my life. Why is he taking so long? How he deals with people who are unhappy with their renovations. <laughs> also, Zeep, sorry I missed that. Thank you very much for the tier one. I actually caught it. I was just in the middle of kicking some ass and taking some names. Although their names were Hired Thug, Hired Thug, and Hired Thug. We already did fast travel. I mean, I guess I can fast travel back to Riften. Let's see. <laughs> Courier had to stop at Taco. Taco John's is fucking incredible. Don't listen to that talk of the face called Yes. I've been looking for you. Oh, thank you. That's something I'm supposed to do. I knew that calling upon the name of Taco John would bring the courier my way. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. 
Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Courier, after his one significant piece of dialogue in the whole game, I must return to Dialogue Tree. Looks like that's it. Got to go. There we go. We're in. We're so in. This is so happening. We are so gonna renovate the shit out of this house. All right, we got plenty of stuff in here. We got books. We got ingredients. We got food. We got scrolls. We got junk. We have actually a lot more than I thought. Oh, hold on. I have to pay rent first. Running a little light in the pockets, lad. Running a little light in the pockets, lad. Huh? I can take a hint. Uh, shut, shut up. Shut up. No. Absolutely tone deaf. Okay, I'm carrying an entire home renovation in my pockets. I don't need this. What can I get? Sure thing. It's yours for it. Dude, oh, running a little light in your pockets, lad. What? You keep running that mouth. Just keep it up, Brynjolf. The only bus that's gonna be moving is my fist towards your face. Here we go. You awaken feeling rested. Oh, nice. It was a cozy sleep. Sleep well. Incredibly well. I'm very happy to be on set. I can't wait to get started. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod. Hmm? Look, I didn't set up the prerequisites for getting me and my film crew into this house to do some renovating. That was all you. Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Urchins? Problem. Is an urchin another word for... an orphan? Which, speaking of orphans, that's one of our quests. You see, that little Eratino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was by all rights Street urchin. a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. You want me to repay killing somebody by doing intense interior decorating? I'm in! Sign me up! Well now, funny you should ask. Funny you looked for a specialist in exactly what I do. My guests. I've collected them from, well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Am Remain I silent. Ty Pennington knows when to and when not to speak. Make your Thank you, ma'am. How am I going to make this video if half the references are about an obscure American reality show that only aired for like five years? Okay, raise of hands. Who actually knows who Ty Pennington is? Like you can picture, you can picture him. All right, anyway, anyway, let's get started. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, we have our three residents here. Very excited to see their home transformed. How are you? It's good to see everybody. I'm glad you're all here and attentive. I don't know what this whole mask thing is about. I don't know what you got going on there. But, I mean, look, you, you have a fireplace going. That's nice. Okay, let's at least get this woodcutter's axe. Oh, my God. We can already start off with the woodcutter's axe leaned up against the stone. 
I think that's a pretty good look. I'm really glad we didn't go with the firewood on the outside because there's plenty of it in here. You've got enough of that. We have a few chairs in the corner. We do, we only have a couple of shelves. It looks like you've already taken care of some of the preliminary decorating, Astrid. Must have been tough work because you seem to have spilt your own blood everywhere by cutting your hands while handling this heavy machinery. Okay, well, let's just start with this shelf. What can we throw in this shelf? We got, let's start with like, uh, mm. Okay, this could be like cooking utensils and materials. We don't have, oh, we do have a table. It's a very small table though. I don't know how I can set up dinner there. Let's just start with the dinner table. Okay, we have a lot of Dwemer. Let's drop a couple of bowls. Will I get a bounty if I accidentally steal one of the bowls? I can't move this meat hook. It's static. Okay, we can move the lantern. Oh, shit. The lantern right there looks like a decent spot for it. Okay, now there's one more bowl. That one's kind of big. This looks like a decorative bowl, actually, not a food bowl. Decorative bowl could probably go on this little thing here. Okay, not bad so far. What do you how you guys liking this? Pretty pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's tax deductible. Oh, the, okay, the glazed can't, they actually light up. <gasps> the glazed candles light up and even have a strange moving flame. Interesting, that's fun. Where do we put this though? Maybe we could, maybe it would change enough lighting in the room if we got it up on top of the, this pole. Almost. Ooh, ooh, we're close. This is gonna be really, okay. Damn. Okay, well maybe we could be one of those families that just eats their food on the floor. You know, not not like in a, in a bad way or anything, just like in a traditional way. Like this is how our family does it. We sit crisscross applesauce, we lay out a mat. Okay, I mean, we've got enough gunk on the floor here that maybe could be smeared into one solid placemat. Dwemer pot. I think this works right here. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Although it kind of covers up the lighting we have here. I'm not sure how much of that light I want to actually block. Okay, quit being difficult. Quit being difficult. This is extreme makeover, all right? Not just boring, regular makeover. That's why there was so much murder beforehand. Come on. Into the corner. No, yeah. Fudge. Not gonna say it. This is a family-friendly channel. Remember, the show aired for general public audiences. Oh, that's hot. Oh, and then the little, little bit of reflection back onto the shelf is really nice. Really liking what we're doing there. Why don't we take our sword then? It's one of our accomplishes, accomplishments. I think the sword could also work. What if we were able to somehow cross the sword and the ax here? The ax is gonna fall, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Get out of the way. All right, fantastic. What if we're able to just go vertical with the sword? Stay, 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 stay. Okay, that's not gonna work. You know what sword would probably work? Like right here, right on this corner. It's, no. It's hard to see because the lighting's not very good. Right, like, I mean, it is nearly pitch black right there. 
Let's try the torch thing again. Damn, I only have two. Okay, the torch is really good lighting. This background noise isn't really helping. Is it equipped as- it's not equipped as a weapon. Oh, it's up here. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, we did it! We did it, we did it, we did it! Look at all this lighting! It's gonna be beautiful in here! Okay, let's try and get the torch up top. Right there! Oh, look at the lighting! Look, you can e you can see each individual cluster of gunk that is formed on the ground. Torch bug in jar, and look at the reflection off of the Dwemer pot. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Such a juve thing to do, put all this work just to fail miserably. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Says you. Torch bug could fit over here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta unequip the torch. It's gonna burn out. The anticipation is killing me. I know, I know. I'm really excited for audiences at home to see this. Which one will you choose? I don't know. I'm thinking, I mean, the torch bug, I kind of want to go top rack, but middle rack might make it a bit more visible. Especially because kids will be interested. I don't want it to be out of reach of them. Ooh, the Dwemer, the Centurion Dynamo Core. Interesting little tidbit. We could just place this in front. You know, for the energy to sort of emanate through our stars of the show. But let's do that second torch and just get it set up. Okay, it goes to the top of the menu. That bad boy set up right there. That one's over there. I mean, this place already making a huge difference. This is so good. I, I'm I'm loving it. Aretino family heirloom. Okay, now that's nice. Surprised we actually got this as a reward. Almost feels too nice. Not really a lot of room for me to put this. Okay, now. I think that this wood pile here is kind of an eyesore. So if we put the family heirloom on it, it will distract all the attention away from the misshapen and bloody wood pile and people will go, wow, look at that plate. I mean, that's gotta be a family heirloom or something. And then you as the host could say, actually it is. And then they would be mind blown. Your guests would love it. Clearly we got off on the wrong foot. But no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Is that what they call this? <laughs> okay, maybe we can put a little flower pot in... Where are my flowers? They're in ingredients. Okay, some blue flowers. No, they're too small. They're too little. We need the blue flowers to go in some kind of bowl. Okay, we've got a cup. That can fit at the grand dinner table. Turns out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Ty Pennington was most certainly not the host of Pimp My Ride. <laughs> that was Ice Cube. Ooh, drum. Okay, we have to have the musician uh, area. Where do the instruments go? Looks like this corner could work. We could set up the drum right there. Where's the flute? Oh, damn it! Don't touch the heirloom! And the flute? I want resting. 
right next to we gotta be slow we gotta do surgical nice fuck 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 not nice not nice it's okay the flute likes to cooperate come now whatever the problem we can talk about it like civilized folk hmm? well you see the problem right now is you know this is a tough house to get in order but i think slowly but surely we'll get there Okay, we got some dwarven ingots. We can probably pile some of this up around the chest in a way that makes it look like, you know what, this is where our family treasures are. This is like playing with really uncooperative Legos. Like if you had a Lego set that instead of instructions, it just made fun of you the whole time as you did it, that's what this is like. It's like, no, you don't use studs there, moron. Use the half piece. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't have any directions. Another Dwemer bowl. We're gonna go middle lane with the Dwemer bowl. Right there. Now let's go back to our mountain flowers. The end. Patient is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Which one will you choose? Can you be patient? Okay, artists work at their own pace. Lavender's too big for the bowl. Lavender. Maybe I could build like a lavender wreath. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's too damn funny. Please, <laughs> please let me off of your show. I don't want the cameras anymore. The anticipation is killing. Can you figure out who has the contract? I don't want to be on a network where Desperate Housewives is the number one hit show. Which one will you choose? Okay, Dwarven Oil. Not very special. It's just kind of oil. We're going to throw it right in here. It fits between these two lamps, right? Lamps, they need oil. But again, it's really uncooperative. What the fuck is it? It's round. It's... There, there, enough, okay? Not spending that much time focusing on oil. Oh my god, I have so much shit. Alright, big wheel of cheese. Maybe I should just have one place for food storage. Probably behind them all. Off of me. I think this little corner could work for food. All right, give me one sec. Is this about that raid last week? I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men, but he wouldn't listen. You murdered people? It wasn't my fault. I you guys have a wild backstory for this show. Okay, cabbage. Cabbage corner. The soldier. Killing is my job. Surely you can't fault a man for doing his job. Throw some bread, even the half chunks. A woman it's not really sanitary, but we could pretend that this is plastic display food. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get the axe back up here I mean I mean just an absolutely picture perfect drop and we still have some room on the other side of the fire uh, fireplace so I'm gonna save mm. meat pie that's right I forgot about the meat pie 
We can use the meat pie as like the centerpiece. It should fit perfectly in this bowl. It should fit perfectly in this bowl. Perfectly in this bowl. Fucking! Fuck! Come on! Perfectly in this. Don't knock over the bowl. Okay, good enough. Let's get the cup. Get back. Stand yourself up now. <laughs> Someone said, give me two seconds, chat. Alright, sorry. I had to clear my throat really bad. Wait, it was Exhibit that did pimp my ride? I thought it was Ice Cube. Are we sure that Ice Cube and Exhibit aren't, like, the same guy? I've never seen them both in the same room. Can I get an apple into the cup? Oh, uh, you're... All right, fine. I'll leave the apple, though. It looks nice. Okay, now let's get our silverware. Why are these forks so heavy? I wish this damn- oh wait, the meat hook! Okay, it can move. Okay, get the meat hook out of the way. Can I move this thing? <gasps> I can! I can move the steel wool! Okay, let's get the steel wool out of the way. It's taking up space on the table. It's gonna be tough. I can't actually put it in my inventory. Eh. Ah. Come on. Okay. Like I said, a surgeon. Fork. Gotta get this fork turned around. There we go. And we lay it right there. Perfect. That works. That works. Now uh, take me back to the plate. Oh, the statue. I forgot about the statue of Dabella. Set up the wooden plate. This is going to be a tough one. All right, this plate's big. Much bigger than I gave it credit for. We got to turn it on its side like that. A little bit more. Come on. Oh, you son of a plate. This is the dumbest fucking challenge I've ever done. This might be the stupidest thing we've ever done on this entire channel. We've done a lot of stupid things, but this might be the dumbest. And the most tedious. No, why are you turning? Okay, you know what? There, boom, fork. It's acceptable. And the main course. Salmon meat. With a serving of vegetable soup. I'm telling you, Bethesda, come on. Let me work on Elder Scrolls 6. Okay, there we go. We have soup. It's a special kind of soup that can be displayed at any orientation without spilling out of the bowl. Now we've got our booze. Uh, we're going to have to set up. Oh, oh my God. Okay, this is perfect. All right, this can be where all the booze is stored. Right back here. We got our booze baskets. Right there. Sorry, Chad, I'm really, I'm really locked into this. Flour. Bags of flour, we could pile them up right here. That'll look nice, right? It'll look like we have some stuff. 
that's important that we're keeping store of. Booze in the basket. Booze in the basket. Booze in the basket. Booze. Meat basket. Oh my god, did that really go behind the... I'm not getting it. I'm not grabbing it. I gotta be careful, because the odds of me dropping something and it landing on the table and fucking things up. Very possible that happens. Nice. All right, we've got our booze basket set up. A few casualties, but not that bad. Can't let the sweet roll go to waste. So we'll put the sweet roll there. Very aesthetically pleasing. Ah, uh, careful. Got it. Look at that. I mean, that is a feast. You guys and your kids are going to love this. Decorate the bed. Okay, I mean, we could use the bed as a table. We still have these scrolls. Hold on, let's set up our scrolls somewhere. I think this shelf works. Is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? I do. Literally the contractor you hired for this stupid job. No, 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 no. We want to go. We, ah, we want to go horizontal with it. The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out? But it wants to just contract? spit itself out. Which one will you choose? Oh, that was almost a disaster. All right, we're going to take the dynamo core. Change its position. Can we squeeze it in here? Killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Which one will you choose? Mm, God, just shut up, please. I must complete this mission. We are not ending stream until we're done. The contract. Which one will you choose? Got it. Got it. That looks way better. That looks great. Still have some leftover wine. Okay, I'm going to save. We got a bunch of potions. I think potions, I'm going to do the same thing I did with booze. Throw our potions over here. Got to fill up these baskets, right? Make them look whole. There are some nice looking potions. Kind of wish they weren't buried into a basket, but... Got to get moving. Taking way too much time with this. Okay, not bad. Got some jewelry. It's hard to see though. This lighting, this little shelf right here could be good. Put all the jewelry right here.
Perfect. Iron sword, pickaxe, steel war axe. Very aesthetic looking weapon. I would love to have it set up. Oh yeah, facing blades facing opposite directions. Careful, don't you get out of hand there. Okay, I can't pick it up. I'm going to leave it. That works. We still, oh crap, we still have a ton of books. Okay, all right, I can do this. Chad, this might be a little bit. The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out But if these people are going to pretend that they are educated, they must have a bookshelf. And no, I'm not going to line up every book perfectly. I'm just going to throw some on here. I never bought Baron Zaya version 3. I didn't complete the collection. I forgot to. Get in there. I hate this bookshelf. I've never wanted to kill a bookshelf. <laughs> it's like it's making fun of me as it does this. In you go. Stop moving around. I see you over there. You're acting like a Harry Potter book. One of those flying around things. The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Which one will you choose? I didn't even do anything. Boom. Nice. Nice. All right, I don't want to fuck around with that shelf anymore because it's in like a perfect position. Right, the shovel is a problem. Careful, Mr. Broom. Death by a thousand cuts, right? Interior design by a thousand items. Come on. I know you can fit. Stay right there. Stay right there. The anticipation is killing me. Can You're telling me? I can't wait to be done with this bullshit, Astrid. I'm actively looking forward to the end of this. <laughs> Don't more gyros. Apologies, chat. There are a lot of items we have to go through. Low key, I'm doing a really good job. Oh, thank you. This is trying my patience. All right, let's set up the bed for, uh, what kind of bed is this? It just absorbs everything that's inside of it. All right, let's give them dinner. Make sure that they can have a nice family meal at the end of the day, right? Did I just balance that potato on top of the stem of the carrot? I'm leaving that. I mean, that's just impeccable design. Only Ty Pennington can get away with something like that. I still have more Dwemer urns. I don't know if I need that many, but I'm just going to set them up back here. Off of me. No, you guys know how the show works. You don't get to take off your blindfolds until the bus moves and you can see everything. All right. That's how the show works. Coward. Stealing a woman from her home for shame. 
Hello? What do you mean? We put you in a hotel for three weeks for free. Y'all are so... Y'all are so annoying right now. Forgot about the glazed candles. The unsung hero of all this. Okay, this chair can be dedicated to glazed candles. Really, the goat horns, they act as two separate objects. But if you pick up one, you pick up both. Interesting. Can I set up the goat horns? Oh, there's no way I can do this. Can I pull this off? I want to set up the goat horns standing somewhere in like a goat horn circle. Although it might work better. No, there's no way these are going to stand up. Oh, that was so sad. Hold on. Yes. Yes. It makes sense. Extra storage. And it's all valuable stuff. Dinner, the, you know, the dinner table's been set. Careful. Kettle, kettle, kettle. Kettle can go right there. That's a really great spot for it. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go tomato in the kettle. Tomato in the kettle. you talking out there please let me go you don't hear shit okay you could hear me shuffling maybe yes yes my final vision is coming to fruition stay stay okay a uh, little bit of burnt cabbage that's okay is this about that raid last week i told Holgram there was no honor in killing sleeping men but he wouldn't listen it wasn't my fault i swear Okay, soccer ball yourself over there. I really like having the green cabbage visible. I wish I had one or two more cheese wheels, because the green and the yellow kind of creates a lot more color than there was in here before. Yeah, I'm, I'm being dead ass serious, too. I'm not kidding. I'm getting weirdly passionate about this now. Okay, floating potato. Very nice. Got a lot of things set up over there. Hold on a second. Why well, I don't know why there's one loose arrow. The fire arrows look cool. They're gonna be hard to set up. Don't be a little bastard. All right, perfect. I kind of wanted to get rid of that one anyway. The iron sword we've used the whole time. Ah! What did I do? What did I do? What did I knock over? Okay, I don't think I knocked over much. Just the Dwemer pot. Oh, 
All good. When I jumped, though, it sounded like I knocked into something. Okay, we're gonna save. I'm gonna get this sword up here. Okay, that's the noise. It's the antlers. Doesn't look like I can get the sword up there, though. We'll go top shelf here. Sword wants to float. Nice. We want to get the hunting bow somewhere. It's always good to have a bow visible. It shows everybody you're a woodsman, an outdoors person. Somebody who loves nature and also kills it at the same time. Someone who loves nature so much, you would like to commit the ultimate carnal act by killing it. Boom! Oh, don't you just love it when it like starts falling? You're like, oh no, oh no, it might fall out of place. And then bam, it settles in. If only I had a big yellow statue I could place. What? Can't be removed from my inventory. No, <laughs> no, not happening. I didn't do all that work to get this statue to not have it. Sorry, council commands, welcome. Yo, relax. Is this statue a TOS violation? Can it fit here? Why does it have to go upside down? It wants to set its natural orientation upside down. So in order to place it somewhere, I have to drag down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Dibby. Oh, 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 okay, okay. If I push in right here. <clears throat> Dibella, I've heard you have a magnetic presence, but not like this. Oh my god, this is beautiful. It looks so good. It looks so good! It's coming together. All right, it took a little bit, but it's coming together. We've got the golden claw as well. Where can we set this bad boy up? Yeah, we want it visible. It's in great lighting too. A little bit of gold shining off of it. Whew. All right. Got all these straw piles. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. Nothing to you. Looks good. Fills in a little bit of that empty space. This side of the room needs some love, though. Let's go troll skull. Come now. Whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk. Hmm? The problem is that the place you live in is awful. And I'm here to fix it. little gem nothing too crazy here the anticipation put it on the shelf Killing me. can you figure out who has the contract which one will you choose
Chad, this either has to be really satisfying to watch or incredibly frustrating to watch. Or a good mixture of the two. How about a nice little welcome mat? How about we replace this dirty, dingy, gross, outdated, out of style welcome mat with some pristine wolf pelt walk in. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it, it's. It's just incredible. Wooden bowl. I have 12 wooden bowls. Do I did I need that many bowls? No. Big ass chunk of metal. Might as well put it over here because you guys don't have much. Yeah, good enough. I wish this lantern was on, but that's okay that it's not. Good. No, Mr. Flute, don't. Nope, I'm quick load. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. I knew it. I knew if I quick loaded, everything was going to explode. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Fuck off. Stop. Why? It's like a hurricane came through. Oh, I'm so devastated. I'm actually so sad. I just instinctually, because of a flute. A flute. No. It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh. Oh, I knew it. It, I just, it was a habit. I just, I, I was like, oh, this fucked up. Let's do the easy thing. Oh my God. Okay. Well, hey, uh, move that bus. I hope you guys really enjoy your new home. Um, and I hope you are ready to, uh, you know, experience an incredible death, an honorable death, one that I think you could be really proud of. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it later. <laughs> Best episode of Extreme Makeover ever. Hello? Hello? I, I know you're listening. And look at Debella. The audacity of her to just stand upright right in front of me. Well, well, aren't we the overachiever? Hey, I tried. Three possibilities, three victims. I know, I really did overachieve. Well, well, the overachiever. Oh, Not only did you murder all three of them, you completely redid and made over their entire house. Well, well, aren't we the overachiever? I already did this, and I said my whole three joke afterwards, okay? Indeed. Of course. I would, in the south, when question. I'll see you at home. Well, I was hoping to get at least two of the quests done today. The next one should be pretty quick that we're going to do. Oh, fuck off. Of uh, you know, the only thing that worked out was my welcome mat. And weirdly, the welcome mat has now absorbed the textures on top of it. <laughs> Anybody know that was a thing? What the hell? It just completely adopted the textures. That's kind of a cool little find. Isn't it? <laughs> well, either way. Uh, quest number one has been fulfilled. I'm a bit bummed we weren't able to get more. Uh, more out of this one. But that was a lot of fun. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. Uh, it's been a while since I've been back. I know. I am aware. And I apologize. Sorry about all the delays and whatnot. At least, at least we've been getting videos out at a decent pace. Um, which I'm happy with. Always love to be doing that. Rather than taking a really, really, really long time to get them out. 
I am going to send you all. Where should you go? Where should I send you all? Um, da 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 da. Where should you go? Um, anyone playing RuneScape? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's raid an old school RuneScape streamer. All pets speed run? Get out of here. What? That's insane. Okay, I'm sending you yeah, over I to. Wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with him. Uh, Coxy? Coxy? You'd lose that bet. He's a big. They're, uh, they're, they're doing a, an all pets speed run in RuneScape, which I assume will take them forever. But have a good one. Remember when you go over to someone else's chat, be respectful, be kind, don't be an asshole, because I'll probably find out if my chat is a collective bunch of dick wads in someone else's stream i appreciate everybody so much for all the support thank you all uh new upload soon i'm really looking forward to it it's a solstheim video so it should be a good one appreciate it have a good one